Hey, what's up, Internet? How are you guys doing today? Oh, well, welcome. Last Hi, topic. Jeremy. Episode number 77. 77. This is right. Oh, right. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Do it again. All right, roll it back. <laughs> hey, th- we're this getting episode flawless. Sponsored by Blue Apron and MeUndies. Well, well, God. All right, we'll splice yeah, that yeah. in later. <laughs> it's gonna be fine, boy. It's not exactly a drag and drop Woo! system. No, it's not. It's hey! Hey! We did it. We saved God. the pickup later, right there. There we so, go. Sorry, mostly, mostly, we're mostly... on a mission to get everyone in the company to hate us. Well, so, <laughs> what did we do there? I just read what was on the thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah what we did, we, we very loudly called attention to yeah. it. Here's the thing. Easily, but we gave them a chance. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We fixed it already. It's yeah. not easy, and this is why. If ever you're watching an episode where like that was a really weird cut for some reason, it's usually that, or like I'm doing an ad read and and fucking Jack like smashed something in the middle of it, or something. Yells about up, Trump. Or, yeah. yeah, Jeremy was like dangling <laughs> some like testicles behind me or something like that. I'll do it. I think like, oh, the sponsor didn't want that. To be human and have mistakes. Oh, well, we're only human. Yeah, exactly. All of us. After, After all. all. <laughs> who, who, who was it that just tweeted that like yesterday? Was that Jeremy? you? Yeah. Jeremy, yeah, absolutely. Brought it back. Full. <laughs> oh, was, it was like 3 a.m. I well. felt bad yesterday, <laughs> Jeremy, because I injured oh. you again. Yeah, he did. Well, uh, I, I mean, like, you didn't really injure him. Yeah, well, I hurt him. Just annoyed me. I hurt him. <laughs> yeah, and he, went, well, and he went quiet. You're like a Ryan. <laughs> I went a little though. quiet on that one. You're like a Ryan feel bad of like, I feel bad, I feel bad, I feel bad. It's like, but you're still doing it. No, you're I did it. I, was, I had the marshmallows. Yeah. So yeah. did did the overarm sort of wing it without any accuracy? Saw it going towards Jeremy's head. Hit him right in the face, not his it, Yeah, I had like though. safety glasses on and just shoved them into my nose. Oh, that's really funny. That's what sucks. Because I wasn't even thinking of that. I was thinking of when you shot him in the fucking head with the with the. Also, the, you did that. Nerf, well, that was thing. intentional and that was soft. I mean, so yes. the nerf dart from the bow and arrow was softer than a marshmallow. Yeah, well, it was a whole crack. pack of marshmallows. Yeah, no, yeah, it was like Listen, a round pack. Both, was, both were soft around. objects, not used in a soft way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because he hits him with the pillow hard enough, it hurts. I also like his logic of, I'm sorry I hit you with the marshmallows, Jeremy. Well, you also shot him in the face. Oh, I did that on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's fine. So I'm not sorry about that. That's that was perfectly I intentional. I the, the, room I is, the room is way too dangerous. Yes. Like, I don't like being in our office I should, without I, goggles. I should preface yeah. No, we have safety goggles yeah. at preface, everyone's yeah. desk now. Besides what we opened on the stream, we shouldn't mention, because we got a bunch of like live action oh. shit we filmed that we don't know when it's going to come out that's or in true. what manner. I will say this, we have a billion guns, BB guns and airsoft guns, not real guns. There we go. But this is, we have tons of weapons, and now we have shitloads of guns that we got from the (laughs) unboxing stream. Which is mostly what Gavin's referring to when he feels like he's gonna get killed. Well, because Ryan, he's been doing this for weeks, since before we had He said we've had like one. He will be in mid-video, he'll cock a BB gun and just go, (laughs) and he'll fire it, and it'll bounce off the walls, they'll hit hit us in the face, it's like, we're not wearing goggles, Ryan. You can't just fire a BB gun in this room. Uh-huh. One of us will go blind. Uh-huh. I don't know how many times he's Could shot happen. it too, and then been like, oops, it's loaded. And we're like, damn it, Ryan, it's always yeah. loaded. A million times. Well, yeah, but yeah. so we actually, the gun, the gun came from school. Like, they had a fake, they had a BB gun on school that was never mm-hmm. loaded when we were filming then, and then right. Ryan got bullets for it somehow, or, or BBs for it, loaded it. But yeah, that's the same deal. So th- this is always my philosophy. If if I don't participate, then I should not be part of the repercussions of it. But you so will. So I'm be. like, I have we we've gotten so many airsoft guns and BB guns. I haven't touched a single one of them because I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna touch it, so I'm not gonna get You're shot by it. You're such a mom, Jack. You're oh, like, absolutely. Ask your father. I don't. I don't oh no. I don't know. I'm like, because I, I know it's gonna Jack. like. Because here's the thing: if I get into it, I'm gonna take it to the next level, and that's gonna be dangerous. So I'm gonna be very careful not to get involved with it. You're lucky in that you wear glasses every day. Yeah, that so doesn't. Your eyes Just are shut. True. My glasses. Yeah. My glasses. The only reason Jeremy didn't blind me that one time. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's exactly that. We all got fucking those little popper things that someone, a fan, sent us six boxes of those little like the popper things you throw on the ground. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, great. Snapper. I'm not touching those. And I put what them on my need? desk, and then I got hit in the goddamn. Jack, eye if you had been a part of that, I wouldn't Jack. have thrown one. It's because you weren't a part of it that I wanted to. That's the thing you. too, and like so. <laughs> specifically with the BBs, is like nobody's. Yet to like point at someone and shoot it, but they ricochet. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. room's small enough, and they really have like a good bounce to them. Yeah. Jack is just for the last few days has been him sitting at his desk with fucking balls just yeah. bouncing around him, and every time I just go, that was on my desk. <laughs> that one hit me in the arm. Oh, that was close. <laughs> and it's just everyone yeah. else going pew 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 pew. Like yeah. the side of the room. Ryan's in there with a shotgun and a pistol. Like, oh, all right, we what's need... up? What are, we, what are we filming today? We need one of those siren <laughs> lights. That whenever someone has a gun in their hand, they activate this thing, and that's it like, hey, going all the put time. your goggles on. No, this is it shouldn't go on all the time. To be fair, it should be limited to, to like fair. half an hour a day you, of open weaponry. <laughs> you weren't here. 
<laughs> you weren't here. Open weaponry. Jer- Jeremy was here. I came in this morning. I went around to every gun and I loaded every single one full to the max <laughs> and I cocked them all. Yeah. And I left them <laughs> all. Michael's like, I can't help it. And Trevor literally walked in and went, huh. And shot it into the corner and it bounced everywhere. And I was like, yep, Michael just, uh, they're all Yesterday, set up. you were pointing one at me and I was like, ah. And you were like, don't worry, there's no clip in it. And, then, and, I, and, and I then I was like, went. that means nothing. That means there's one in the chamber, and then, baby. And then, like, two minutes later, he's like, oh, there was one in there. <laughs> just like, shut up. Yeah, so uh, if, you, if, if you didn't watch our Achievement Hunter, uh, Achievement Hunter Weekly Update unboxing stream on Wednesday, you should check it out. I think it's up on the site, or, or it's up on YouTube or yeah, somewhere it's on already. YouTube, channel, yeah. But uh, we did two hours of unboxing, just like going through letters and boxes. We made it maybe halfway through what we We made had. it maybe halfway, and then it was undone like the next day. Oh yeah, yes, yeah immediately like a car We got like 20% of it back. But why, we did, why, do we, why did we want this? Uh, because we thought because people would send us a couple things yeah. and it'd be cool, and, and it's, it's fucking cool it's as awesome. shit. It's awesome, but yeah, we'd be like, mail. oh, we got a thing, cool, we open it and whatever, and people are like, yes! The thing is, yeah. n- none of us volunteered for it thinking we'd be getting weapons and stuff. Yeah. That was never even on the brain yeah. like, that that would happen. But now it's like it seems like it's all weapons, or like, mo- we have a lot of knives. I have a gun that's a knife now. Oh, well. <laughs> that's a, oh yeah, there you go, yeah. Michael just has a... a well, I got, I got a belt, so... Yeah. I guess if you want to blame me, at one point in Nauvoo, I went, send us more weapons. Oh, <laughs> so, Jesus, Lindsay. We should, you of all people! We should stop with the weapons at this point. Yeah, uh, we, have, awesome. we have plenty. We, we, we have literally so have enough. We, we, have, we, have nothing, we have nothing left to do with them at this point, except break them. If you could get and unlimited, if you well, could get unlimited anything, what would you want to get unlimited? Right now, diapers. Yeah. Yes, please. Baby diapers. diapers. Something we could use in the office. Well, I guess that could also I mean, be that's if, yeah, I could just keep filming. We sent dildos. That's who's we, we don't need that. We, no, we don't need dildos. it. We, don't need it. we might need it. We, don't we, need we have them, a dildo on a stick already. If you're thinking dildo or weapon, send a dildo. Right, right. Yeah, that's true. If it's, gonna be, if it's this or that. Of thought. Yeah. yeah. Because when someone's like rubbing a dildo in your face, that's funnier than someone rubbing a knife in your face. It's a lot yeah, like, okay. I can tell uh, you. It's not ideal, though. Jeremy, no. not ideal. <laughs> Jeremy <laughs> was lot, very. A lot less deadly. Jeremy was very put off by me rubbing him <laughs> with that huge dildo when it was between my legs. So someone sent us like this 16 inch dildo. Please, his name is Colossus. The Colossus. The Colossus. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's, it's got its a name. handle so you can swing it around like a sword. They sent that and a custom Achievement Hunter shield. <laughs> it's not going to go in, is it? I think it is. I think it is. I think, I that's Lindsay why looked Lindsay? Yeah. Yeah. Lindsay looked so it up. I always, I always take the plunge and I look up shit that's like fucking crazy. Take the, the plunge. Like, yeah. Take the plunge. I hope you take it. the plunge from yeah. this thing. If we ever get like, you know, a, a search results issue or anything, it's going to be my browser history. But Good. I looked at videos with the Colossus. It's all dudes taking it in the ass. But yes, they go full all the she way in. That's because they're men. <laughs> they go handle deep is yeah. what you're saying. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ball, balls deep was a lot of video titles. So I know that's for Jeremy to make that video. Jesus I would just never do it. <laughs> never mind. I would like half his body. He would die. I would do it for. I don't care if it's that big. We, I wouldn't do it. And then we can have Jeremy on a stick where you carry him around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would go with the stick if we can do like put the stick like to his back and then carry Jeremy around on a stick. Mm-hmm. That'd be funny. Oh, without the dildo. Have it shoved up his ass. Oh, like, like tie a stick yeah, like, to me and carry me around on a stick. Yeah, like that'd be funny. It should be attached to a string where we pull it and his arms and legs go woo. Yeah, can we make yeah, a Jeremy funny. marionette? Do not make me a marionette. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. No, a, mari- a marionette's this, yeah. like from the top. You're making she me a pump. Just like, pump yeah, just like yeah. a movable kind of thing. <laughs> and then you, like, and then you hit a button, you're like, oh, okay. Oh, that's what bro. you want to do to me. But when I say that's what I want done to me after I die, then that's a, that's yeah. wrong. Did you ever see, like, I think it's Eric Andre's show when he put, like, tasers on people or put, like, those electric charges on people and he had a bunny hit and, like, make your arm just, like, flop out. Just, you know, you'd be talking and all of a sudden you just, like, smack someone in the face. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. I'd do that. We should do something like I that. I saw something like that from um, the, the Mythbusters B team, oh, the Bill yeah, team. They no. have their own show now. Something Rabbit. Or White or Rabbit. White Rabbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. White Rabbit. And they had something like that where they were testing, like, mind control. But really it was just Carrie could, like, if she, like, thought hard enough, it would send things from electrodes. Like, I guess if she fired certain neurons, they can make it send electrodes to Tori, who was, like, trying to eat. So he'd be, like, trying to eat something, and then she'd go, like, and then he'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> like every time, That's like awesome. he just couldn't eat anything. See, just, send yeah, that, send nuts. that to Awu. Send that. Not, no, not a knife. <laughs> so, no, the best shit Listen, we get on we Awu. We love the knives. We just have enough. Mm-hmm. We have plenty of knives. We have enough. Well, oh, no, this can, is, this oh, is, that's oh, the that's, shield. That's the shield that goes with the, which is awesome. Which I was like, hey, they sent something else. There's Colossus. It's it floppy, man. It's heavy. No, too. dude, if it's that huge. stick wasn't in it, it would be that's way floppy. Bigger right? than a horse cock. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. Uh, there's there's some. There's <laughs> I don't some know. I jealous, think Mr. Hands would disagree some, with you. There's some envious horses. I mean, not all well, horses. He's not are saying the same. much now. No. So. Yeah. I, I think what we need now is we need stuff that makes our room softer. We need like. Crash mats I have a Remy Temple. We just don't have room. And soft wall Some wadding. Pillows. Soft wall wadding. So we can like, springboard into the wall, Velcro the wall, we'll wear Velcro suits. Front we have, like, a we've talked on. about doing that we have, forever. We like, bookshelves yeah. on the wall. Well, not all the wall. Yeah, really. I know, but it's just like, you're acting like we just you have need to be able to, space. Our like, office is small. We need to be able to fly around the room more. Do we? We need to be able to. I just want to fly. <laughs> it's a simple request. The man wants aerial. to fly what around his want? office. Want, what want? Jack, he just wants to fly around the room. Yeah, obviously. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> like run, jump, and jump really far. None of that is room. flying. Run, jump, and jump, jump really far <laughs> is flying to Gavin. <laughs> How what the cool fuck it? is wrong with the British education <laughs> system? Falling with style. Listen, I get what you're saying. I just refuse to accept it as like acceptable speech. Like bounce around the room, get nuts. You don't say I'm gonna fly around the room. Ooh, All right. There's no What's flight like, involved. Is that what is that what Peter Pan's like? Oh, we're flying. He's like, oh, there's bouncing around the room. Like, Wee! He's flying like, with style. Yeah. We should get a bouncy right, castle, a bounce house. No. We've been talking about that yeah. for a while. Or an yes. anti gravity. Oh, we have nowhere to put it. But the thing is, it just puts itself. That's Wherever true. you plug it in, it becomes. Unless it doesn't and fit, everything and then else it unbecomes. <laughs> no, no, it just. Well, no, it just everything else unbecomes. That's the problem. So it will remain. Oh, so let's just destroy our office for a bounce, a I bounce think, castle. Bingo. I think we should do it under Ryan's desk. Do you know how big those are? It, the whole room. And that's not like, do oh, it. then it's just gonna focus on Ryan's desk. No, it's no, no. Annihilate no the, the problem is Ryan, Ryan's got a setup where it's like, you know, if you ever see those hacker movies where like the hackers all the information and they like pull a ripcord and leave and then everything explodes, oh, that's yeah. Ryan's, Ryan's desk. Ryan's yeah. Like you do that, Ryan's desk will explode. He might have, have something hooked up. Absolutely. absolutely He's right. got some kind of booby trap in there. I just want to see. You it. I just want to see what oh, engulfs yeah, the room. Yeah, I gotta. Let me get one. Dun dun dun. dun. We don't have oh, any rum yet. I'm gonna go steal rum from off top. Yeah, I don't. Wait, I'll take it. Um, I mean, that's a great. That's a great point. Right there. That's a great point, Jeremy. Oh my God! They put a new one back. You guys are the best. Because the other one's under my desk right now. Oh, nice. Um, for protection. Uh, no, it was for like the stream. Oh, I just yeah. grabbed it and I was just lazy. He just started going. Back. Yeah. Um, we're fucking doing the on the spot tonight. Yep. Both me and you. And Trevor and Andy, we're all on it. Achievement hunters. Yeah. Michael, your face doesn't say what a punch in. <laughs> <laughs> the office. <laughs> it's funny too because I heard I heard Michael go punch in. Did <laughs> <laughs> you do seventy seven episodes? They pick up on it. Like, and Michael's about to stare into the camera now. Yep. There's no walkie talkie. And uh, he, like he will this. not break eye contact, so yeah. just go ahead. He and do will this. stare forever until um, you look at Michael him. Michael is the psychotic. Pay attention gym to him. Achievement hunter. I'm I what? was. You're the psychotic gym of achievement hunter. Oh, okay. Jeremy, you got to switch yet? No. I you got to get involved in Kart. I'm not I know. Kart I really no. Mario Kart is what makes me want to get a Switch. Though. You're like, listen. Every time anybody asks me, like, is is Switch getting? Is it worth getting a Switch for Zelda? I'd be like. I'm the worst person to ask because I'm a huge Zelda fan. It's awesome. It's a fucking great game. It's awesome. You're gonna beat it though. It's a. I, I can't. I can't like easily say in good conscience like, oh yeah, buy a whole console to play one game. It's Just one fucking game. It and will it's like, end. It will end. You know, and like I fucking love it. You might not even fucking love it. You might be like, oh, it's pretty good. Woof. I didn't. I shouldn't have bought. You know, spent four hundred dollars on a console and a case and the accessories and the controllers and all this shit for this. I will absolutely say it for Mario Kart. It's right. fucking it awesome. It. I see the pictures. We play from like every parties, night, dude. and I'm like, oh, it looks so we fun. Play it, yeah. We play it every like, night. Like, like even last night, you you weren't around or whatever, so I wasn't even gonna play. I texted Andy, and he didn't he didn't answer me. Uh, and then he got back to me at like 11, 11 o'clock. Yeah, had, had he hypnotized himself again? He hadn't. He was he went to the movies. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I forgot about that. Dude, he's, he's a wild and crazy kid. He's, he's a weird, he's, yeah. a, he's, he's a wild and crazy guy. Alien Covenant uh, will hypnotize Also, the yeah. uh, Always Open had a, they have a bottle of Malibu that's just open. Oh, like, well, there's no lid on it. I think there. we was, might have lost that. I, well, we, I mean, broadcast, <laughs> we, they have you. cameras on us, they would have known where it went. So really, we didn't lose it. Okay. They lost it. Jack, this is why they don't like us. This is why I'll never be on camera the rest of the show. Oh, just kidding. See? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no, that's fuck it. All right, this is why I'm gonna be only me on camera for the rest of the show. Take your lumps. Um, <laughs> what, 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 how, many, not, how come, many viewers did we just lose? Mario, <laughs> Mario Kart. I don't remember where I was going with it. It's oh. awesome. Uh, oh, we were, playing, we were playing last night, and, and, and he was like, we'll just do one game. <laughs> so we hop on for one game, and we saw Carrie was online. Oh and like, if you're friends with people, you can just join them while they're in the middle of playing. So, because Nintendo's a piece of shit, you can't see like who's in the chat or who's playing. It's just Carrie's online, that's all I know. So, hopped into Carrie's game. He was playing with like six other people. So we ended up playing last night, like, we didn't call anybody, didn't plan anything, didn't text anybody, just turned the game on, jumped in, 
and we did like three or four Grand Prix with like nine players, which is just fucking chaos. We, I've never done so many Grand Prix as the night you all came over. We did, we did. That was fun. Yeah, oh, goddamn it. Yeah, it's funny. I was like, they have to now do something. Now you realize they were cutting to Jack the entire time just to get that ready. Yeah. Um, we did 10 in a row. Like the green wow, line. dude. We, it took like, we were there for like five out, four or five hours playing. Yeah, it was. The, to be fair, mm -hmm. to be fair, I think it was about 80 minutes until we did the first race. Yeah. It was a lot of uh, fuckery. There was and then there was like a lot of it was home slice, and then it was waiting for Meg, and then Cats. Meg was ready, and then there was waiting. For Dan, cats, and Dan was an idiot, and he couldn't sync his controller. <laughs> Dan was having trouble syncing his uh, his his Switch Pro controller to his console. Sorry, Michael, I apologize. That's I'm ruining your podcast. Jack, I can plow through anything, okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to let the viewer decide. Do I listen to <laughs> Michael, or enough. do I watch The room Jack? could be yeah. on fire. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Michael's finishing the fucking story. All right, as long as you're not talking over it, I can keep going. Okay, sorry. Can we, can um, we have that small picture of Jack sort of... Pong around the screen. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're really trying to get the word corner. For this. Yeah, and then when it goes into the edge, it's like, Whoa. yeah. <laughs> and then the meeting's over. He likes. I thought he was oh, falling. No, yeah, for keep, a the, second. keep the frame up. Because you're on the bottom now. <laughs> Jack, you're fucking. You're <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack has like too much fun on this there show. Goes, hey. There it goes. Hey, there we go. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, you can oh, see, you can see dragging. dragging. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm, it's like the uh, the Phantom Zone. I'm in the fa oh oh oh. oh every time it goes yeah. away, Jack's like oh, like I'm going away. Uh, wow. And then and he never came back. Uh, hey. 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 It's like whack a mole. That was done blind. <laughs> uh, it'd be great if he could pop in with some facts next to him. <laughs> <laughs> every time. Right. Why don't we have it over Jack replacing him on the wide, but perfectly, just so he has a box. That's true. He's wearing a Jack like, mask. Put it right here over me. Yeah. I don't know if uh, they'll do oh, it, Jack. Give them a second. Oh, oh, Give it a wait sec. for it. Okay, they're lining it up. Oh, why, look at line it. it up, <laughs> line it up. Or, uh, oh, there we go. Oh, 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 this is like this is like a oh my God. this is like hey. a space connection. Space <laughs> light. <laughs> so like so like it's a bit <laughs> off. Oh, 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 you're there. Jack, stop moving. That's it. I think. I they got it. Yeah. Well, they had it. That's pretty damn close. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty That's close. pretty damn good right there. Oh, that's, they got it. I that's feel like wow. my head is that's smaller excellent. than my actual body. That's excellent. <laughs> yeah, we should just slightly zoom it down. It, it just looks like there's a... <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Why can I look at it? It's like 3D. <laughs> well, like, you gotta remember, it's uh, also from a different yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Audio listeners. Audio listeners. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. You should check out the podcast. On you should YouTube. really just watch uh, it. You get it. Watch it. Your first month free. It's um, not um, much gold. you can do. I watched uh, House, of, House of Pain last night. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. So, nice. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I, Mario, I, Kart. Mario Kart. Mario no, Kart. Mario Kart was done. I was just saying. Okay. The funny thing was Dan. Well, he was taking forever. He was trying to connect his controller, and to be fair to him, it wasn't working right. The pro controller. He was like, I can't get it. I can't get it. I can't get it. But then, in the middle of it, he further like couldn't get it because he's just like he picked this point to be like, it's bullshit, B. It doesn't work. I can't get it. I don't know. I'm like, all right, Dan. Well, that's an Xbox One controller. <laughs> he had a fucking Xbox controller in his hand. And he's just hitting buttons on the fucking Switch trying to connect it. I'm like, I forgot about that. His oh, it was, was such a fun night. Was his Switch fine after Smee and Columbo had their like grapple? Oh, when yeah. your cat smashed through his Switch? Yeah. Fucked they, him uh, in the middle of the race? That was awesome. <laughs> Disconnected sweat. him? Yeah, those cats destroy a lot of, of games. Of and cables and wires yeah. and headsets. headsets. But they are yeah. cute. Do your they cats are. bite through shit or they just knock stuff over? Because my cat, my kitten, anymore. my kitten Ellie, she will just knock shit off counters. Like, oh, it's 8 a.m. Time to start knocking stuff off the wall. Mm. The biggest thing yep. my cat does is uh, Jeremy, you take your shots my TV. No, I haven't. I've got like I've been a cool. Oh yeah. Well, I'm, I'm yeah I did on the a screen. Shot. That's oh, yeah. adorable. Mm. But now my like Smee doesn't bite anything. It just bites Lindsay. Ooh, it's smooth. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, didn't last Columbo time. don't really bite anything now. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't mm -hmm. go pee this time. <laughs> we were laughing because we were coming into the house, and Michael was like, "You gonna try and pet Smee?" And I was like, "No, nah, I don't want to risk it. I, I won't touch him." He's like, "You're gonna touch that Ten cat." Ten seconds like, later, and she's like, "I'm not touching you. the cat." I opened the door, and Smee walked up, and I was like, "No, <laughs> <laughs> don't do it, Smee." <laughs> no. Hey. You give, you have my two hundred dollars. Did you bet two hundred dollars you'd win Mario Kart or something? No, no. He just owes me two hundred dollars. I just keep bringing it up. If you have two hundred dollars in cash just in your he pocket, will he's worth five million? Two hundred dollars on you. Oh, at least. he's worth five million. There's a twenty. <laughs> I've got twenty. Shut up, <laughs> dude. I wish I. Hey, I wish I owed you. Hey, Kevin, Dumb here's the two hundred dollars. Oh no, wait, you owe me. My new favorite thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, Michael, I'll be right back. Okay. Bye, Gavin. Want to hit an ATM? Here we go. There's an ATM over here. Bye, Gavin. 
Is Bernie over there? <laughs> Maybe Ryan will come. Is that the ATM? Oh this? my god. I fucking, I, I accidentally bought, like, like three months ago, I bought an SD card for something. It might have been my Switch when I was getting it. But I accidentally bought an SD instead of a micro SD. Oh, okay. So I wanted to return it, but since, like, I fucked it up, if, to return it, if I had them come to my house, I'd have to pay, like, ten bucks to send it back, or I can, like, drop it off at a location. So I was like, oh, I'll just do that. And then, of course, I didn't do it. Like, it came and went, and I missed the date to do it. So it was a $200 card. So I was just mentioning it to anybody. Like, Bernie was talking about, like, he might need one. And I'm like, oh, if you need it, I'm like, I have an unopened uh, SD card. I think it's, like, 512 gigs. You know, it was 200 bucks on Amazon. If you want, I'll just give it to you. And he ended up not needing it. But then, like, the, this is during Laser Team 2. Then the next day, Gavin's like, oh, actually, I could use that card. So if you oh, want, okay. I'll just give you the 200 bucks for it. I'm like, cool. And then I gave him the card, and that was it. It's a mistake. So that was, mistake. That was like two months you ago. Cash on delivery, man. I mentioned what you it did like, there. It's fucked up. Yeah, and well, I save it. I never, ever, ever mention it at this point now. After like the second time, I don't mention it outside of videos. Because oh, I just okay. want to keep like making him look like an asshole. Yeah. So this is like the third video. I've so been like, the, hey, you have my money? What I'm learning is we're not going to see Gavin again. This no, he left. Really yeah, he left. Yeah, he's he's going gone. England, he's like, $200, mm -hmm. okay. He's going to hang out with Ryan. That was he's it. Doing. That was the threshold. Ryan's he's definitely Ryan. playing Far Cry. I know for a fact we're going to get back to the office. If he doesn't get wind of it somehow before then, we're going to get back to the office, and we're going to be like, Ryan, where were you? And he's like, well, I didn't, I didn't know I was on. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, you're right. You'd think after like an hour or two of looking around the office and no one's here except for you, <laughs> and, Jeff and you know off topic is going on right now, I would feel compelled to be like, I'm gonna I'm go gonna over there. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna but do something. Ryan, Ryan, I know, he'll be like, I don't, nobody told me. I didn't tell you anything. Ryan's busy yeah. updating that's the just what he's gonna. That's just yes. what he's gonna that's do. Just the, the, yeah, it's gonna, there's going to be a bouncy castle and the room is gonna be collapsed. <laughs> In, in our office. I, we gotta stop him with that fucking bouncy castle in the office, Gavin. Oh, it'll like, he happen. He keeps wanting to open it in our office. We can do it in the VR room pretty easily. There's not, there's not. Yeah, fuck us. Yeah, we, okay, yeah. we'll, 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 <laughs> and all that just, really expensive just, shit in there. It's just the most expensive technology we have. I mean, it, all right, the I value mean, of the room is not higher than the value of our room. There we go. But, per item, item like, is, Per item, It yes. sure is. Yes. There's not seven stations in that room, but the two stations that are there are quite expensive. And also Gus. Yeah, yeah, Gu Gus, yeah Gus is a valuable Gus person. is the factor of, I will fucking burn your room to the ground. Like, literally, I mean, we were nervous that he wasn't going to let us use it as our test See, range. See, I wasn't nervous. I was just, I know Gus well enough that I said, listen, he's not here. He probably won't care. Because we, I was going back to, the, we did the unboxing stream the other day. So we had two cameras in the main achievement in our office. And then we also put a camera in uh, the VR room, which is like... Annihilating Tums. Yeah, she gets... <laughs> Welcome to pregnancy. Yeah, she gets uh, heartburn all the time. Yeah. Uh, so we wanted to use another room that had more space to like fuck with the weapons and shoot the bow and arrow yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff we like that. We put our targets and so shit. So that's the VR room. Um, and it was empty, so we're, Ryan's just like, oh, we'll just do it in there. I'm like, well, let, well let's ask Gus first. He's like, ah, Gus isn't here. Who cares? I'm like... I agree, so I'll just <laughs> tell him we're gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. And he probably won't care, but if he's like, absolutely not no, then we definitely shouldn't do it. Yeah. So in the Achievement Hunter fashion, like, we just started doing it, not waiting for a yes. But I just texted Gus, and I was like, hey, uh, uh, we're gonna unbox a bunch of shit, and we wanna, like, shoot weapons and, and like, break stuff and fuck shit up, so do you mind if we use the VR room? And then I even sent him to that, uh, nothing messy or sticky. Like, I didn't even wait for him to reply. I was just like, we're not gonna fuck it up. And he got back to me in a couple of minutes, and he was like, yeah, I'm not there, I don't care. I'm like, cool, good. I don't even have to nice. worry about it. I don't have to worry about Gus freaking out later. And then, 20 minutes into the stream, we opened a box of, like, 25 packages of marshmallows. Yeah. And I'm like, keep them out of the other room. I said, no sticky. I was very yeah. specific on no sticky. We didn't get a and marshmallow gun, right? No joke. Yeah. Okay. No joke. That day, and... Bleeding over a little bit yesterday and today, people are still getting marshmallows stuck to their shoes. Yeah, because yeah. they're like, just on the floor. Because yeah. Gavin, like, it, it, it wasn't that bad on the stream. No, it was yesterday. We shot it was yesterday. yesterday. Motherfucking Gavin showed up, and he ripped open, like, five bags of marshmallows. He must have thrown... 40. He was hanging and out with those blue men, the blue man group, man. They throw yeah. marshmallows all yeah. the time. Yeah, you guys did that on it's the not, it's not actually yeah. a marshmallow, yeah. though. It's like a Trevor did it. Trevor like was just playing. Yeah. It's it? like a chemical thing. It's not, it's not like a real marshmallow. 
Really? It's like Very specifically nice. designed. Yeah, if you look it up, it's hmm. like it's like a thing that's like a marshmallow, but it's it's not a full Fakers. on marshmallow. Well, what? so they can like I mean they, they put, put like they put a fifty lot. in their yeah. mouth, so it's like they don't choke. Well, you it see down. them yeah. like shoving it back too, like they make. I know. Uh, I'm just telling. I, I mean, themselves. I could be wrong. I, listen, the fucking slow mo guy. I'm sure it's something along the lines of like here. a cotton candy type I'm, thing. I'm where pretty sure I read something online after we saw their show because we saw their show 2015 years ago. It wasn't last year. It was. It was the end of 2015. It was okay. like November. I can't remember. We saw a uh, Blue Man Group in Vegas, and they were fucking awesome. Great show. Like I didn't really know what to expect. We were there with their family, and it's like, oh, okay, you know, we're doing the whole tourist thing. We'll see the show, you know, whatever. It was like a hundred times better than I thought it was. Yeah, gonna be. it Michael was loved it. fucking That's awesome. okay. funny. Like it was funny as hell. Like I was yeah. laughing the whole time. Well, the best part was that Michael had never been to a show like that. So like, obviously, we laugh at the audience, and then it would die down, and you would just hear Michael, the lone person, going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't care. That's a pretty good me laugh. Nice. Yeah. That, yeah, their show was cool because it's it very really interactive cool. where they like bring the streamers down and stuff. Yeah, they and pulled people out of the audience yeah, and yeah. shit. They, they, did a, they did like a dinner date with this, oh, with yeah. this girl. Yeah, they yeah. pulled her out. The and it's like, they yeah, and they had, a, they had like a Twinkie, but like she had to catch the vibe on the fly of like, yeah. don't fucking talk. Don't say anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're like, I think she said one word and, and like, early on they're like, <laughs> yeah. So then she just kind of had to figure out what the hell was it's, happening. It's like quiet improv where the fourth person doesn't know what yep. the fuck's yeah. going yep. on. They, they have to figure it out as they, they go. They called my really father really out cool. on the, like, the pre-screen thing that they have with the scrolling text. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. like, Matt Tuggy, stand up. We're like, hey, nice. Oh, Way nice. Way to go, Dad. Oh, that's cool. So they actually pull real people's names for that. It was, it was oh, real people's cool. names with just like bullshit like yeah, yeah, yeah. made up credits, yeah. you know what I mean? It you know, like, like his you 95th birthday. Yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I think. Well, who? What did your dad specifically say? That's exactly. He was, was like, "You haven't accomplished anything special or important." Yeah, it was like, congratulations, <laughs> Matt Tucky. You have done nothing. <laughs> Everybody's like clapping and cheering and shit. It was a really good show. Yeah, it, it was, was. I enjoyed it so much. We waited afterwards to get a photo with them. That's the level That's cool. of how much I actually enjoyed it. I like that Garrett from Mega Sixty Four wanted to be a Blue Man too. For oh, really? I can yeah. absolutely see that too. Yeah. I can see anyone from Mega Sixty Four being a Blue Man. Yeah, well, it, being I mean, weird. Eighty percent of that show is percussion. So, like, if you like yes. banging on shit, if you're a drummer, yeah, absolutely. Like, it's it's a cool show. It's good. It's very cool. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, if you're ever in Vegas or in Orlando, they have a show in Orlando as well. It's so. just like yeah. um, and I think Chicago too. It's hard to explain. It's just like it's it's uh, like it's hard to say comedy, but it's really funny. It's like s music. I mean, music is the mm -hmm. biggest thing. Is that percussions? Like, it's it's music and just like a really cool, like vivid stage performance with like streamers and colors. And uh, not like Twitch streamers, but the mm. real kind that fall. Yeah. Um, and just like graphics and all kinds of like lighting effects and crazy shit. And just like really cool like feats of skill. Like if you yeah. haven't seen it, the marshmallow thing we're talking about is like they do the, you know, the thing that we do all the time. We, I take myself out of it because I suck at it. But like <laughs> Gavin, Jeff, and you guys do like the throwing gummy yeah. bears and marshmallows in their mouth. They take that like times a thousand. Yeah, they're, they're like across the stage, probably 20 feet from each other. And they'll throw like 15 and catch in a every row. single yeah. the one. The one we saw, like, they didn't miss a single one. Yeah. They got every single one. And then they pull it out and it, then they'll turn it into something yeah. like they a sculpture. It. And then yeah. they yeah. like... And they make it all part yeah. of the bit. Yeah. One, one of my favorite things they do. So they play songs. I mean, like it's a music. I mean, it's music and kind of interactive comedy and stuff. But and I think on the Orlando show, or maybe it was the Vegas show before Luxor, um, they take a piano out and they tilt it on its side. They have a giant mallet and they open it up where you can see the strings and they okay. bang the strings with a mallet and nice. it's, it sounds amazing. So That's awesome. It's really really cool. Is anyway. it true? I heard once that like the whole premise behind Blue Man Group is that they're aliens visiting from another planet and they're trying to explore the Earth. I think and, like, it's something that's like believable. That. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's something like that. But hmm. and also there's something like thirty Blue Man, like like all like they all rotate and stuff. Mm. So. I think there's like I'm pretty sure there's like two or three like main. Yeah, like, like I'm the pretty sure they're like basically. these are the Blue Men, and then they have like the Justice League. Of, of Blue Man. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. So I don't know. I don't know if Gavin ever comes back. Where the fuck did Gavin um, go? He probably went know. to an ATM. He probably walked to ATM. He probably did. Ryan? If, if yeah, that's Gavin, Ryan. That's Ryan. I could tell by the backwards hat. <laughs> if yeah. Gavin ever, see, you would have got it if I didn't have it strapped yeah, in. Yeah, good safety measure. If he comes back, I'll fuck back off. Ryan's been rocking the backwards hat lately. It's the uh, stand. Are you all right? Are you tired? Are you okay. Right. I'm you tired. had a very Jeff-like approach just yeah. now. No, it was a field day with uh, at Eli School this morning. So it's, the field days oh. are very different than I remember when I was a kid. It used Wait, to be like I don't even like, remember what field day was. I field remember awesome. in it. Field day was like I'm better than everyone, and this oh, is that's how where we you prove were. it. Oh, that's yes. why I don't remember it because I blacked it up. I told Trevor. Um, <laughs> I, but, we didn't ask. <laughs> I, <laughs> okay, to I be cared. Fair. I asked. Um, <laughs> it was more of a I wonder where Ryan is. Don't yeah. worry, we made an awesome thing for you to join in. Later. I saw. No, I came in. Oh, you did. Never mind. Yeah, I was there for that. But yeah, no. Now it's got like bounce cast. And shit, like 
Did you now see it's Gavin just, there? Because he was just talking about it. He was just talking about it. I heard. He wants, wants to, heard. He wants to set it off on my desk, that's where he is. and uh, yeah, yeah. that won't go well for him. See, we got to remember yeah, that Ryan will well keep tabs on this shit. No, I know. But <laughs> yeah. the thing is, he doesn't have to. People will send him tabs. Right. You're actually <laughs> bugged at all times. Yeah. 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 That's why I assumed. That's what we're saying. I think that when you, if and when you finally quit and not burn this place to the ground, you're going to activate your booby traps under your desk, and then we're all fucked. Yeah. We're all bombed. You know those super magnets that someone sent us? Oh, yeah. Those are the most dangerous things you got. Yeah, absolutely. You won't find them anymore. <laughs> we all, it was like, it's like Kingsman, we all have trackers behind our necks, yeah. we just didn't realize, just blow our heads off. Oh my god. Um, Ryan actually told me about mine, I was like, throw it in there. <laughs> just go ahead. Go ahead. Just, it's easier to just submit. Uh, and just go, you know, see. go with the flow. Uh, well, I let him pick his color, you know, because they're always very colorful nice. when they explode. <laughs> very you know, colorful. They so they had to they had to do that to like downgrade the movie, right? That was like you think so? was, I'm pretty sure, right? That was like it was it was initially it was blood and it was like super graphic and was they, it? they wouldn't let them get like an R rating, so they had to change it to color. I'm really like Kingsman ended. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure. I think I think I heard that from Gavin, so I assume it's but, true because he's like <laughs> But they got to keep the church scene. You yeah, can, that was violent. Uh, you're well. gonna have this one guy yeah. beat a woman to death with a book. You know, I don't but know. But if heads start exploding, Maybe, yeah, but like a hundred exploding dangerous. heads in a row, I don't know. Listen, I'm not part Who of knows? the what is it? NPW? Are they like you're one is over? Is? You, you've gone. It's yeah. hundred. You have 106 I'm, heads. I'm pretty you sure you get that. one fuck for a PG-13, and only 20 heads can come. Wasn't off. it an R movie anyway? That was an R movie. Oh, it was an R movie. movie. But I will say too, I just saw Alien Covenant. Like it's. Was it, it's PG-13, right? Was it, was it so. Is it a huge is disappointment? Because people know. keep saying it's a huge it's disappointment. Eh. It's eh. It's better, it's better than Prometheus. It's not as good as it could have been. Um, but like, in the last 20 minutes, they sneak a nip in. Oh really? Yeah, I was just oh. like, oh, they got a nip. I well, love nips. Yeah, <laughs> but is it is it like an alien nip or is no, it no? No, it's a shower it's a nip. Human it's a shower nip. nip. Well, you can yeah. you can you, know, lay you can movie show shower scene. nudity. Yep. I mean, like Titanic. Yes. Titanic is very late. On, like Kate Winslet laying out. That was back nudity. in the day, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they got away with it somehow. No, like, there, I think literally like that was it. Right? It was classy. It was like after that film. Like there was there was a quota of nip across PG thirteen, and James Cameron's like, whoop, I'm gonna take it all. No more. Shit, there used to be nip and PG. Well, that, that was, was PG. Yeah, yeah, that was that before was... there's PG-13. What though. was RoboCop's rating? R. Hard R. Yeah, that was hard R. Hard R. Well, because it, it came around somewhere around there in the 80s. Yeah. This is like the, yeah. rate, like the PG-13 R rating was like... Well, R's know. been around for, for a long time. Because it was, it was X rating for a while, and they got rid of that. I think they became NC-17. But R's been around since like... Uh, 60s, 70s, something like that. And the PG-13 came out for Raiders of the Lost Ark. That was the first PG-13 movie, and shortly followed thereafter by Gremlins, or maybe I'm flipping it around, but it's something like, it's, yeah, Raiders was the first PG-13, because all the face melting I think and all nudity should just be A-OK. -okay. Yeah, like G fuck movies, it. Throw it no, a hard dick. Well, no, I mean, whoa, 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 whoa. Hide your <laughs> shame, woman. <laughs> if you're talking about, like, banging. I mean, go, really go to your no, no, no. no. I think, that's I think really nudity and about. nudity is fine, but as soon as it's that, then when you start okay. bumping nudity, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. where the problem. America really nudity. sucks on nudity. It does. I mean, it's violence it's all tits for it. And dicks. Who fucking cares? You want to see a knife get shoved through someone's heart? That's fine. It's that's honestly, cool, but everyone's see, seen one. It's honestly why I love theater mode so much, and why it's like, hey, dicks coming out. Like, who fucking cares? America cares. Every guy has seen a dick, and every girl seen a vagina, and then all the, and then you know, some of the time. Sometimes they yeah. say okay, the, yeah. the, the never nudes. Over. They, you know, never, never nudes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sure they grew up at some point, right? Well, they didn't come well, out of the womb that way. Maybe, dude. Maybe, maybe, maybe some embryonic. Maybe, maybe like the baby came out like. and they had like like a dress ready to go. It is like head right in. What if, like, what if right, they came out and they like grabbed the umbilical cord and like wrapped it around <laughs> yeah. as a junk as Please. like a caveman yeah. kind of like Kid cloth dropped off out? He's like, no, that's the most hideous thing I've ever seen. Well, I was talking to someone recently about our kids specifically and going to conventions and like seeing cosplayers and someone asked me like, oh, are you gonna like try and shield them from the boobs that are hanging out? I'm like, who cares? Oh, he actually did go and get. You went to an ATA. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, you're going okay. home? Yeah, he was leaving anyway. Bye, All right, bye, Gavin. Gavin. Well, remember you were gonna replace him, but then Ryan didn't show up. Anyway, oh, is that so it? So his his episode was, was happily unlocking things in Far Cry. That's fine. It's funny because Jeremy was like, Ryan's playing Far Cry. That's yeah, what and people are like, uh, Ryan's playing Far Cry Four right now. Yeah, people are like, oh my god, is there some new Far Cry there? It's like, no, mm. he's playing four. No. Just four. It's for a Battle Buddies mission. Well, yeah. to talk about I didn't talk about the. I hadn't okay. even said that. You're just no, I'll say that. It's for a future a mission, but we don't know which mission. Battle I don't Battle think it's the next mission. mission. Uh, no, I don't think it is either. We have three, three missions in in the prepared in the works. Do you guys have a script ready? Yes, I do. Okay, cool. Just keep calling them out enough on like live shows. What was that money for, Gavin? He owed me two hundred dollars for a fucking. SD card from two months ago. Oh, and this is like so. This was actually a legitimate. Exchange but she just owed of, me money. 
And I just went, hey, you have my $200? And he left to go get money. So I got one of my first ever injuries what? from Awu. Actually, during the unboxing stream, I, I paper cut Sorry, my Jack. knuckle. Stop. Like, on my Call freaking an injury. knuckle. It hurts! It's on a knuckle, so when I bit it, it stings, like, every single time. Did you say stop calling that an injury? That yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. He's like, if that finger's not off, it's not no, an injury. No, it's not an injury. Fuck it's like, you! Hold on, go rub some shit in it yeah. so it gets infected, then you can call it an injury. It's stings. gonna sting. Well, don't get Jeremy started on his infection. It hurts okay. me. Okay. Listen, I don't know why that, that got to, like, this whole thing with <laughs> that. Funny. You had a scratch. tiny scratch on the back of your hand. I had, I, I, I dropped a knife on my hand, so I got a little cut there, and then I was like, and I got nervous because it got red, mm -hmm. and I was like, "All right, so I just don't want it to get that like green film when it starts to get infected." Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was Does like, "Does that yeah, happen I just don't to you often?" Yeah, it's happened to me before. Wash your hands. Well, yeah, you wash your. It still happens sometimes. If some shit. Have gets you ever in, had a hand cut? And get not, infected? not like that. Not in the sense of like, oh, I cut it, I wash it off. Like, I've had cuts like, on my hands and shoved them into diapers. I've had like, fine. you know, why? I don't know why you would do that. Because uh, he's a man. That's why. Just, is that like a Fight Club thing? Like yeah. Tyler Durden cuts your hand, like makes you. I've had like. It's a father. thing. Usually, don't use the same diaper. I just get that shit out. I will. Yeah, I can think of a few mothers that would probably. It doesn't always stay in the diaper. You know, like the salient point. Like at my old job, like I'm crawling through some disgusting you know basement and it's like literally dirt everywhere and like I cut my arm on a piece of metal it's like oh fuck there's that and then there's like oh I was at my house and I cut my hand with a knife and then I washed it off when was the last time you had a tennis shot uh, during my last job. What are you doing? Did you get a tennis shot like every year? Just, just for stuff no. like that? I don't no. think it's a yearly no, shot. No, it's good for seven no, it's years. Not it's definitely not it's good, it's good yeah. for seven years but if you get cut they, they get recommend you get one if you haven't had one in five. Mm -hmm. right. It's about like four or five. They're like, eh, you should get one to be safe. And that, that's the last time I had one. I, I got cut at work and they were like, when, when do you have a tetanus shot? And I was like, about six, seven years ago. And they're like, well, you should get one now. That's why yeah. I got one so in I'm, Australia. I'm probably, I'm probably due for one. Okay. I, it probably ran out at this point because it was, it was early on. Yeah, when she busted her face in Australia, she got a tetanus shot. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but Jeremy had like, as, as, as I walked into it, and I think even Ryan was like, look, look, look at his hand. Look at this. And I was like, what? And Jeremy's like, well, I scratched my hand. And it was just like a little scratch. It was when we were doing theater mode. Yeah, you still guy. got it. I mean, yeah, it was that guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, okay, well, it's, you can't even see it like on the camera. Hold oh, on. Yeah. It's, it's there a little. Yeah. See? Yeah, it's that. Yeah. Right there. It was not much bigger than that. No. And Jeremy no. was just like, I just don't want it to get infected. It's true. The, it was, well, the last, it was the last smaller cut, than that. the last cut I got red. that got infected. Oh, was it? Yeah. Maybe it's infected. Yes. The, la the last cut I got that got infected was in the Achievement Hunter office. Uh, Gavin was throwing some nice. like a marshmallow course, type thing for me course. to catch in my mouth Cut you. and I wanted it and so I <laughs> jumped for it, it and didn't make it and fe and there was something behind me on the ground You're like that one time that one of a hundred times like a dog jumps for a treat and just fucks up <laughs> Yeah, and like, well because I was already like sitting down like doing something and Gavin was like Jeremy and threw it And it was like higher than I was sitting down Quick so I was reaction. like I'm going for it and I jumped for it and then like fell onto the camera case or something. Oh and God. I bet you I would not cut. do that in our room as it is now. God, Probably don't. Not. Probably not. And I forget where the cut was. You like took a picture of it. Oh, it was that. It was that right there. Oh and you God, like took a, a picture scar. of it or yeah. something like because mm -hmm. it was at work or also, whatever, take a picture Jeremy of it. was facing away from you, but his eyes were so excited in the reenactment of like Gavin throwing it up there. Oh yeah, <gasps> I was like, oh, I want it. And, um, <laughs> and so it just like was a cut just like that one just for a while. And then I was like taking a shower one day and got out and I was like, well, it still kind of doesn't look good. And it was like red on each side and white in the middle. And I was like, it's probably not great. And like there was a little bit hanging and I went and pulled out this thing of white and green uh, from yeah. in the cup. Yeah, but that's like fun sometimes. Right? And then, it, no, it was like very satisfying. Right? I was like, oh. But still, I was like, in the in there but now I, yeah. now I saw like a line there ah. and stuff. So I was like, yeah. That's a good. They eat all the, the necrotic flesh. Yeah. Get so, so literally I came in and I was just like, yeah, I hope that one doesn't like. Get infected, you know, and everyone's like, "What are you talking about? You're talking about things like infected." <laughs> you exaggerate. Like, that's, 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 that's what all five of our voices are combined. Yeah. <laughs> for God's <laughs> sake! It was mostly me and Ryan. Oh, okay. Ryan, I mean, it was all me well, and Ryan. Ryan, only the two of us there. So. Yeah. Ryan kind of seized it, and, and like yeah. Ryan's pitch was already like, "Michael, this is ridiculous." Look at this. And I was like, Ryan, I agree. Absurd. Wow. And Jeremy was just like, fuck you guys. Like, fuck you. <laughs> the, the worst deaths come from infection, I understand. Oh That's yeah. the shittiest oh, way yeah. to go. I would say drowning. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to die. I'm just saying. Drowning in pus from infection. I don't want to do that. I love oh, yeah. Yeah. Fire. Fire is a big Fire would suck. Don't yeah. want to burn. Carl yeah. Drogo died because he got infected. Did you say Carl? Carl. 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 his cousin. Carl Drogo. Carl Drogo. Carl. I have an accent. Carl. He has a bicycle instead of a horse, you know? Carl Drogo. He fell off his bike, scraped his arm, he's and actually got a vegan. Yeah. Goodness. <laughs> and he's Aqua Boy, actually. He's not an Aqua Lad. Man. 
<laughs> We're coming up towards the end of the the first season or the first season, uh, whatever of this section of theater mode. Oh, right? season two, volume one. Yeah, there's season only one two, more volume one. After what we filmed, yeah. Right? yeah, we have one more left to film, <laughs> which I yeah. think I'm and supposed we'll, to be in. We'll get Shit. into a couple of them. What's the next, the next one? Next volume. Right. Um, I don't know. Hey, do you want to throw up the theater mode thing? Oh yeah, now? yeah. Why not? Why not? Talk we're gonna forget. It and then you'll hey, boom! Us there later, it is. So we're already on top of about it. it. I thought it was um, gonna be a me undies logo. I don't know what uh, what episode is this week. It's not Luther the Geek, is no, it? That was, that was last, that was last week. week. What? what? Monster in the closet. Monster in the closet. Uh, I was not in this. I wasn't in that either. Yeah, I don't think the monster. Well, definitely the three of us could not have been in it. I was in it. That's right. This one, it had the attack of the tomatoes, attack of killer tomatoes, kind of like let's be jokey about it. It was okay. It yeah. was okay. Not, We've done worse. Yeah. The, there, there were some <laughs> actors in there that you would recognize, including a very, very young Paul Walker. Really? Yeah. Yes. Before he died. Oh, that's right. I remember yeah. coming in and talking about that. Didn't yeah, yeah. Jesse say Fergie was in it too? Fergie, Fergie is also in it. Yeah. Damn. Was she so delicious she, yet she or got, no? No. She was well, a she child. Was, she was quite delicious. <laughs> oh. And got turned into a pile of uh, what I think is a summer collection, really. Yeah. She had kind oh. of a Veruca Salt thing going on. Mm -hmm. Got it. Then, in uh, comparison to Indian in the Cupboard. Which would be better? Uh, less Owen Wilson. Movie. Wait, no, that's uh, that's the national, not National Treasure. Yeah, you're thinking, whatever. Yeah, Ninth Museum. There we go. Owen not Wilson. Indian in the cover. Not Indian in the cover. Very covers. different. Well, because he's a tiny cowboy, and there was a tiny cowboy in Indian in the cover, right? right? There, there was. was. There was a tiny was. Native American. Sounds like a country yes. song. So they called it Indian in the cover. Not really before cover. America got. They really uh, kind of fucked up right from the get go. On that note, in the cover. On that note, let's watch a clip. Speaking of American racism, definitely a monster in that closet. Oh, what's the poster? Oh, the boy. Oh, they're throwing it's shit probably, out. Well, this is probably oh, there's your, spanking. Oh, that looks like Tom Selleck all over it. There's your problem. Oh, is, it Tom, is it Tom Selleck? Is it Tom Selleck? He's got it's the, it's Tom, got Tom Selleck. Selleck. No, that mustache hair. is all right. no, no chance. So, so editor, up. editor, I want you to find that poster somewhere online. It's this is your, this is your homework. Frame. Until this comes out, find that. Find the full poster. And show it right Look here. Look at that shit. glorious keep, chest hair. Keep it. Fucking don't. Jeff, you're, you're pulling your microphone. You you're not. You know how this you, works. You, We've you been doing this for like right. 30 weeks. You're really closing in on something Wait, You here. could just point at the screen he, here. What? You need There's to point Tom, over here, Jeff. Tom Selcock. He's, he's pointing at, he's at, pointing at the dick. Selleck's crotch. Nope. The nope. wrong screen, Jeff. That's not how that works. <laughs> you can't get there. You've done this before. Tom, it's, it's Tom like Selleck's the, cock. It's the junk on the on the picture also, over is that there. A huge it keeps eating my arm. <laughs> is that a paddle? Yeah, it's it's a sorority. Jesus. Have you seen Dazed and Confused? It says AVP. It's the Alien versus Predator yeah. paddle. All right. Oh, step. No, it's not. Actually, it looks like A is greater than P. That looks like Tom Selleck. I can't stop looking at his cock. That's absolutely Tom Selleck. There it is. There's the oh, there you go. We didn't oh, there it. we go. We saved you all the work, You're welcome. Editor. You're welcome. There's Tom Selleck Good. right there. Yeah, there you go. It's a handsome looking man. They did oh, anyway. picture, sure put it in there. That's that, that's that broadcast oh. on top of things. Shout my out to favorite Tom team that's, at uh, Rooster Teeth. That's broadcast, uh, their slogan, broadcast, making theater mode watchable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's What's old Tommy S up to these days? He was on Blue Bloods or something? Fucking knows. Tom Selleck. Uh, yeah, he was, he's yes. on Blue Bloods. He's on Blue Bloods. <laughs> First time ever in history he's been called that. Oh, oh Tommy, oh, Tommy. Oh, Tommy Stash, we called him. <laughs> I always get Tommy Blue Bloods Stash. and Burn Notice and all those weird well, shows. Well, Burn Notice was very different. That's like the but like cia dude, But they had like those cop shows. shows. That was like great five show. Seasons. I, I yeah. kind of fell, fell off on it. Because uh, it really doesn't make any sense. But so you watch that fun show? Burn Notice? I yeah, watched I watched that episode yeah. to episode. What's, uh, Bruce what's, Campbell. What's Bruce Campbell. Michael... No, wait, what's his name? Michael in the show. The character was, was Michael. Michael. I think his name's Jeremy Donovan or Donovan, something? Donovan, yep, yeah. yep. That's his, and he's also in a new show on Netflix on right Netflix, now. Netflix, which is not very watchable. Is it not? I didn't start I watching it. I almost started watching it because of him, because mm -hmm. I watched Burn Notice, and I was like, I like him as an actor. Now you've dashed my uh, I mean, maybe it's for somebody else. It it's was, like it he's didn't really like gets hit me. in the fucking head and then gets like psychic visions. Yeah, or he's some a shit. fake psych, uh, fake psychic that gets hit in the head and acquires actual psychic powers. But the the lead into that makes it sound like he figures out that that's what's going on a lot faster than there's not. Oh, he does. The payoff for that is is a little more delayed than I would have liked because oh. he's just like, oh my head and things are happening. Oh well, I'll just go about my life. What's the show that you saw that was like directly the sunny plot of the guy who fights oh my, crime by smelling? Oh my him? god, someone someone um like tweeted this or something, and I even saw Tegan from uh, school mention it. But somebody tweeted me or something like that, and they were like, "Oh my god, this guy looks just like Gavin." And it's a Netflix show, and I can't remember. What, oh, it's called The Smeller. And it's literally like a thumbnail. I don't know if it's a thumbnail for that episode or the show. And it's a guy holding like a packet of something, and it's like ripped open. And there's just like fragrance, and it's him like smelling it. And the guy 
does kind of look like Gavin in this one particular thumbnail. Like yeah. I haven't seen a video, so you know, mm -hmm. it could be one weird angle. He kind of looks like Gavin. It's like 70%, I would say, Gavin. But more importantly than that, the fucking plot of the show is the guy has a super sense of smell and he solves crimes with his smell. And I'm like, it's the fucking Fifth Sense! Like, from <laughs> Sunny, they made that show! Like, it's a TV show on Netflix and it's called The Smeller. The Smeller. And I'm like, and then, like, I tweeted that and so many people were like, Dr. Dolph Lundgren. And it's like, <laughs> they took that plot! Is he a dog in the in their plot? Like, yeah, he's a, he's a scientist that turns into a dog and runs on all fours. And I was just like, I, I just like, I, Yes, it looks like Gavin. I need to shelf that for a second. This is the yeah. fifth sense. This is what I'm watching. And then like I was just getting tons of tweets like, is there full penetration in it? And I'm like, I hope so. Oh, there There's the, the sniffer. sniffer. Yeah, yeah. An, the extra sniffer. an extraordinary sense of smell gives a crime investigator unique insight into solving mysteries, but his gift takes a toll on his personal life. Because his girlfriend yeah. smells like That's shit. <laughs> so it, it kind of looks like Gavin, but not, it's not like, like, yeah, like a little bit. It's like That's, an American Gavin. That's the like internet's yeah. like, it looks exactly like yeah. him. God, I mean, it's like, yeah, I can see lately. why you're saying that, yeah. but I'm yeah. more I'm more concerned with the whole the sniffer thing than the Gavin thing. <laughs> Did they have in the fifth sense it does take a toll on his personal life too? It's like, oh, he's he's actually like messed up his Well yeah, that was when he takes his nose and he, he throws, throws it into the, into the ocean. ocean. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, no, he hates the nose. It's ruined his life. You know what show I just watched? I uh, Katie and I started watching on, on Hulu is the Mick. Which oh actually, yeah, oh, I haven't watched show. it yet. I haven't watched it yet. It's very much the with D show. It's, it's like imagine D with she's, children. She's like an aunt. Yeah, right? she's or an aunt. aunt. Like her she's her her shit. sister uh, was a stripper and married a super rich guy, and then that guy gets like they get investigated for fraud, so they flee the country and leave this mansion for basically uh, you know D, the Mick and and her you know her her nephews and or her nephews and niece, and uh, and yeah, she has been to take care of these kids. Why in is this she mansion. the Mick? Her name her name is Mickey, so they call oh. they call her Mick, but. Uh, it's it's pretty damn funny. I've watched a couple episodes so far, and this is pretty funny. Mm. Like, there's a little kid in it who uh, burns his tongue, so they put the, this mouth thing on him, and he's just drooling all over himself and like drooling all over the floor. So I don't know. I've, I've, I've watched two episodes so far, and I've, I've enjoyed it. Have so. you watched any Master of None? I haven't seen season two. Okay. I watched season one, but I haven't Ebs, seen season everyone two. Everyone I know is talking about that and says I either should watch it or I should stay away from it at all costs. Yeah, so it's it's pretty That's interesting. A weird. Yeah, it's very People emotions. really like it, or they just really don't care it. for it at all. Yeah. yeah, and I wasn't a fan of Aziz and sorry on. Uh, Parks and Rec, but maybe that's just the character. Of yeah. Tom. Well, it's so. interesting seeing uh, not not is it's Tim and Eric, right? Like Tim and Eric. Uh, it's like one of the two of them is like his best buddy. The bigger guy oh, okay. is like his I best know. buddy in that's, the show. Is that is that that's Eric? I believe he, Eric. Yeah. So. I believe Eric is the bigger. I think it's Tim and Eric. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to figure out the shot. One of us is right. It's, it's funny because Aziz, Aziz and Zari is a Never pretty small it. dude, and this guy is huge. So the two of them like hanging out together is really kind of an interesting pairing. But anyway, it's a funny show. I enjoyed the first. Like Kevin Hart and The Rock. Yeah, exactly. Yes. That shit, or, that movie what, was that not bad. Yeah. 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 Central Intelligence. Yeah. Yeah. Central yeah. Intelligence was Maggie. not bad. Yeah, funny show. That was that was funnier right. than I thought it would be. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you it's an all right. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a plane I, movie. I watched it, it on a plane, a plane movie, and yeah. I was like, this is going to be terrible. And I watched it on a plane, and I was like, this was not terrible. It was better than I thought it would be. What do you think about Baywatch? Are you going to see it? Oh, yeah, I'll see it. I mean, I see movies. That's what I do. I'm already sick of seeing the trailers for it, though. I'll see anything with the rock. It looks like they maybe went too far. Well, they went yeah, like Twenty One right. Jump Street, then plus more. It's yeah. like, oh, yeah, let's like, take this. Eh, a couple remember, more remember, people remember that. Okay, like then let's just make it like mm -hmm. dirty and, and funny. And it's like, all right, well, like here's Baywatch. Like, oh, let's just curse and have drugs. And I think it's Zac weird Efron. that they called it Baywatch. Oh well, okay. Because they did not make a movie that is Baywatch referential. No, but also, really? well, well, you gotta imagine what are the, the chances? Hop is gonna be in the hop. Yeah, I was gonna say, what are the chances? A that thousand hop is percent. Be in it. He's definitely gonna be in it. He's definitely gonna. He's gonna be on the beach. Like, but will he reprise his character? I don't, I don't well, think. I don't, no, I don't think so because it's a reboot. I think it it's Mitch? a reboot. Like the new characters are the show's characters. Oh really? Uh -huh. That's what I thought. Oh no, shit! It I is. Didn't know that. Yeah. Well, who else is in it besides Zac Efron and The Rock? No one. No one. Uh, no, no, a bunch the of other chick, people they don't care about. The, so uh, they don't put them in any of the trailers. The, the, the yes, Alexandra Daddario. The woman oh, from oh, season one of True Crime. Uh, True Detective. True Detective, sorry. The uh, chick from uh, Percy, Jackson. Percy Jackson. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love her. And yeah. her tits. They're yeah. beautiful. Yeah. They're great. They're, they're You're they're probably not going to see them in Baywatch. They are bountiful. They're very nice. I mean, she, she's got them out before, so you might it's see them. It's an R. Yeah, yeah, I just don't expect it in Baywatch, but so it's like, I only know that because I read somebody, not her, somebody's playing Pamela Anderson's character. Mm. Oh, really? So I know they're playing. So I, I think, I think, 
um, the Rock this is Hasselhoff's one. character. There's a right blonde there. one that's shown in the teaser. I'm pretty as well, sure that's so I think that's, that's her probably character. the Pamela yeah. Anderson. Right? Yeah, the the Rock, the Rock is Hasselhoff. It was uh, Carmen Electra really? was also in that show, right? So yeah, that's I'm, probably I'm, who. I'm pretty sure she was. Yeah, so oh, yeah, it's probably the, the, the Rock plays Mitch Buchanan. So yeah, I guess yeah. that's Hoff's character. And then and I'm kind of like... depressed that I remembered his name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that was that like your bait material back in like middle school? No, it was it was okay, Ryan. It was a couple years before. I think I did watch it a little bit. Was it? And there was Baywatch Nights. Oh yeah, which was Priyanka Chopra. Priyanka Mi Mitch, Chopra. Uh, moonlighted as Season a supernatural third. detective. <laughs> really? It was I a was related like, series. Wow, Brian, I did in, not know that. You were in high school in the nineties, yeah? Yes. Okay, so what were your go-to shows? <laughs> That's decades ago. At this point. Oh, okay. It's all about next generation, man. Next yeah, generation. That was good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to watch well, that every single Trek, night. So we do know uh -huh. that. Yeah. And now there's a new Star Trek coming out. Yes. Discovery. Ooh. Discovery. Yeah, with a also, Vulcan, Vulcan captain. And also say. a new self Seth MacFarlane almost Star Trek. Orville, which actually Orville. doesn't look bad. I watched the trailer for it. I'm not, we'll a, I, I'm not a huge fan of Seth, Mac Seth MacFarlane's like kind of style of humor. He has a very distinct style of humor. Like yes, if you does. watched A Million Ways to Die in the West, it's like that's his humor. Trailer had that, but it was it was actually pretty funny. And Adrian Plecky's in it. I like her too, so. That's his, his, his ex-wife in the show. I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's both of those shows, unfortunately, are... Way overproduced. They're not going to be able to make their budget on eh, TV. We'll mm -hmm. see. I feel like you used to watch a lot of Dawson's Creek, and you're just not. I did us. not. Did you not want to wait for your life <laughs> see, to I be would've. over? Again, I just I kind of went away from. I was kind of young for that. Cold. Yeah. I was all about the CW. I think I was too old for it. I, I was like, it. I was like elementary, maybe like early middle school, yeah. and I wasn't, I wasn't on the like the the. I didn't watch like any like dramas, whatever, like narrative. No, but shit. that was also you're like cartoons and comedy. Basically, yeah, like like I started. And I didn't have cable. I assume. You did the same so thing I did. I, I, shit. I started like narratives and shit like that probably six like, months ago. Like late, late into being a teenager, like late in the high school. I'd say like 16, 17 is when I started watching like The Shield okay. and mm -hmm. uh, fucking Desperate Housewives, which was <laughs> awesome. It's a great fucking show. First couple seasons, anyway. <laughs> then it just gets silly. Uh, That's but, not like Terry Hatcher uh, stuff, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. But it's like, it, I mean, it's it lays the basis for any, any like, you watch Daredevil. I mean, it's Desperate Housewives plus their superhero fight. Plus, plus a deaf you superhero, know what I mean? whatever it is. Blind. 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 Yeah. He's blind. Yeah. He's, he's deaf. Yeah. But it's like... He's, 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 he's got some. He's like, I'm really him. fucked. <laughs> Hello? I'm both deaf and blind. I want to say... <laughs> Did I win yet? God. Was it CW or WB? <laughs> it was the Helen WB Keller back as then. Daredevil. Yeah, it was the WB. <laughs> it was the WB. WB 11. Water, Helen. Was UPN 9, <laughs> yes. at least for me in New Jersey. Because WB had Xena, it was a Helen Keller joke. Um, and then, uh, Charmed. And then the Sabrina. WB bought UPN 9 and became CW. See, I missed yeah. all of that. Like, I probably would have watched, like, Buffy. Uh, oh, probably oh, yeah. back in the day, Angel, but I didn't have cable. You have to watch Angel if you I watch Buffy. Cable. Cat just watched Buffy See, like a couple months ago. I just ago. didn't care for that. Was like, I'm gonna watch you Buffy. I just and never watched it. Talk about it. You know, what, okay, you know what show I watched? Scrubs. I watched the shit out of Scrubs. Yeah, you like yeah. Scrubs. Yeah, yeah. Right I right watched it after. You the know fact. my opinions yeah. on Scrubs. Oh, I love. <laughs> you, yeah, you're a big Zach Braff fan. Huge. What you have, Jeremy? Okay, I do want to say before we get too far from it, Braff. You had something. But before we get too far from it, I was going through the cast of Baywatch 2017. Yeah. Uh, David Hasselhoff as the mentor. <laughs> the mentor. So there it is. Uh -huh. right there. I think David Hasselhoff, he has that black jacket over the red, like, button-up shirt. Yep. Like, that is his go-to. That's what he, I think he has a closet full of only he's that. David Hasselhoff I think he just has mentor. one outfit. Well, yeah. it. Pam Anderson, Anderson as yeah. Casey He used Jean to have Parker. the closet. It's down oh, Pam Anderson's in it. Yep. What photo is that? I don't it's know. She's like, she's about 12 years she's old. She's like, I'm a cat. What the fuck I'm looking at there? Stripperella. So wait, what? who's the girl from Percy Jackson again? What's her name? Alexandria, Alexandria. Daddario. Alexandria. Okay. That Recently in the like office, souls. we were talking Someone about does. CG boobs and yes. actors who are like, I don't want my tits out there, but you can give this per like put those. Get off your high horse. Mind. Get yeah. your tits out. <laughs> Goodness, I said I would want her. If you guys had a dick CGI All put right. in, who would you get? Ooh, Wait, I think it's someone else. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I maybe you haven't seen cut. a lot of I'm other I'm just going to get my dick out. Well, you don't have to. I mean, oh. you, you get the I'll take whoever, Oh, I know I don't have to. <laughs> I'll take whoever Ryan Reynolds used for Deadpool. Oh, okay. Because he cool. was swinging something there for a while. Was. No, that's right. So Jeremy I would just, do, he I would had do, a lot of nuts. I would do, or it could no, be, yeah, if it was uh, Jeremy, it would just be Jeremy's dick. Well, we already saw it. that photo. We saw yeah, off topic. That's that's don't give a shit. That's true. I would do Mark Wahlberg from the end of Boogie Nights. Oh, there you go. That'd be me. There you go. Yeah. That wasn't even CG though, right? They yeah, just put it was, like it was, one of those. It was a prosthetic. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, um, Jamie Foxx. Um, no, Vigo Mortensen in. Oh uh, yeah. Was it Australia? 
Uh, I think it's what it was. Does called. he get his dick out? In the, yeah, yeah. Uh, was there his was dicks another, out in a bunch of movies. There was the other one I where he, he, he fought out. a thing naked. Uh, he fought a thing. Or, like he, it was a movie he where he fought, fought two guys naked. Uh, uh, like Russians are. I gotta figure it out. There, I'll there's just take Liam Neeson's dick. I might okay. be confusing. I hear Liam Neeson has a big dick. Holy shit! Thank God. Fuck was that? Eastern Star? No, that's not. That's not what I was thinking of. Jack Patillo. Jack, this is Elon Musk. I've come for you. Dude, I would, it I is would, finally your time. <laughs> Jack, would you just, this, I would leave. This is the, the first time we've used this technology. Star. Eastern Promises. That this was, is, we've Eastern we've promises. elected to use this for the first time to tell you where a dick was. <laughs> <laughs> we have new technology. Dick speaking technology. Will be more appropriate. Jack, quit Achievement Hunter. Exit the building and get in the rocket. Yeah. And he'd be like, Bye, in the rocket. Go to Mars, he boys. Would. I no, he would. Dude. I was listening to a TED talk with him actually on the way to work. He's a horrible speaker. He's he has some. Tr- well, I, here's I, the thing. I, I love him for here's that. Here's the but thing, he's though. A, he is not a good public speaker. He, he's not a great public speaker, but he takes his time to say what he wants to say. Oh no, he's incredibly intelligent. And he's and so, so understated about everything. He's, he's just like, yeah, we're gonna build a rocket. It'll, <laughs> yeah, it'll go to Mars in about eight to ten years. Dude. Everybody's like, what? He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah, that's well. I mean, yeah, the crazy I thing is, is that he's like, yeah, I made, I made Tesla. I'm making a lot of money on Tesla, so uh, basically to pay for the rocket to go to Mars. And it's like, what? Like, oh yeah, I'm investing in solar. I'm investing in electric cars so we can we can put uh, put a man on Mars and colonize it. I'm like, with except you. he would what? say that in about four minutes yes. longer. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I yeah. A lot of pauses, brilliant but he just not well nailed it. Oh, yeah. It. It's wonderful. But I, I will say, I, I give him so choice. much credit. because like, he, you did something with how little dude, you the have. Dude, the dude has so much money, he could, <laughs> I get 100% pay for someone to be the, the face of his companies, and he's not. It's like, it's him, and he's doing it, and that's what I love about that. That's why he's an idiot. No, he's a fucking genius. Jack will kill you. I will fucking murder you. Elon Musk way more than you. Are you kidding me? If the weight of his money fell on you, it would kill you. Jack goes home and tapes Elon Musk's face over Katie. <laughs> oh my god. He's much more well spoken, but have you seen the clip of Bill Gates jumping over the chair? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Incredible. yeah. yeah. Oh, that's an old one. He, he can jump. It's an old He's oldie, a but a goodie. Michael, what do you got over there? Oh, well, it's, you know what? I got some comfortable undies, Jeremy. Do you because, really? You know, I'll tell you this. Oh, am I wearing mine? You know, you've perfected your wardrobe. I can oh, see, not. Jeremy, but you got an issue. But what about the stuff that not everybody gets to see? That's where Me Undies comes in. They're what? seriously soft, feel good undies delivered right to your door. Me undies are designed in LA and made from sustainably sourced <coughs> micro modal, a fabric three times softer than cotton. Me undies softer than soft luxie undies come in an ever changing selection of classic colors, bold shades, and adventurous patterns so you can tailor your undies to your own personal style. And guess what? You can save time and money each month with a monthly subscription. And if you're not ready for a subscription, that's okay. You can still save because Me Undies is offering you 20% off your first pair. Just use our special URL, MeUndies.com slash off topic, and get 20% off your first pair. So go ahead, revamp your underwear drawer. You deserve it. Once again, that's MeUndies.com slash off topic. MeUndies.com slash off topic. MeUndies, they real nice. Michael, I am wearing MeUndies right now. So am I, look. You will not be oh, seen. Oh, nice. Whoa, well, where do those come from? Hey. I don't know Crazy. Crazy. Nice. Uh, you can see my undies and my knife like, in the same the shot. Underwear fire I guess the, the underwear fairy, I didn't get that. The underwear fairy came like a month ago. No. I have like three I or four pairs from the underwear fairy. Oh, it's great. Them. The underwear fairy at this the current point in time is Trevor. You said the cat enjoys how you look in your MeUndies too. Right? They look good, they feel good. She's been saying a lot of shit. You were like, yeah, the other day I was wearing them. I from cat to Lindsay. When I am walking around in my me undies. Cat does like the way. Yeah. It, yes. I don't know what the technology and is. Jeremy's like, I don't like it's that like you said that. <laughs> like, okay, no, no I will admit that. Me undies make my ass look great because yeah. it because without them, they're not they're good. Like, it's, it's like cross your heart, lift. right? It, it, lifts, it is. It lifts like, and separates. It's like, let me you put know, this up there. Titans. Yeah, you got the really you got nice two underwear. distinct mm-hmm. cheeks instead of. I'm the kind of guy that I'll take the me undies off and Cal go, ugh. Put them back on. Please, please. They look better on you than on the floor. That's what the gap in the front is for. You never have to take them off. There you go. It's like, God, I was just going to talk about the blanket with the hole in it. You're making love to someone and you're really religious. No? Why would you segue right from the sponsor to that? How dare you? <laughs> You're going to be offended. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I just got an email. Don't talk about Sorry, sex. Dick in a box. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. Rodney I just got an Justin. email uh, talking about Jeff's new shirts. Uh, let's oh, man. Half an hour Are you talking ago. about these? It says new Jeff shirts now with 100% more Jeff. He's this look this looks like a like something a superhero would have on. So right, that so not Jeff. This is apparently no authority and that's luck. And there's only 500 of each of them. That and we've no got authority. one of each. And we got one of each. So, so there's only 490. I only listen to Rage Against the Machine. Nice. <laughs> Turn that shit up. 
I said also, if another radio. Trevor was like, who wants what? And I was like, I'll take this. Jeremy, you can have the Jeff Voltorb shirt. Yeah, that's true. It looks like a Voltorb because it's a circle. It's a circle. It's got the line. There's like a lightning because he's electric. Oh, okay. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Yeah. He's Voltorb. I see a derp face like. Do you think uh, like Jeff was like going through like uh, Millie's old toys and like spilled some like blocks? Yes, like, oh. that's the noise it would make. Yeah, oh, right, there we yeah. go. That's, that's the next. Step. Do you think Bono. Jeff lifted a finger to design any shirt? No. Yeah. Yeah. No, at the beginning. Yes. At the beginning, yes. Jeff, Jeff was there. A, he was the in be- the laboratory. He was going over the science. I'm sure. I was like so Griffin. The, also, you said there was a protractor. Fingers. Like, no, the angle's wrong. Mm-hmm. Do it again. That was my Jeff. I can see Griffin being behind this one. This looks like her her alley. I'm it's sure Griffin had nothing to do with any of this. No, she right did now. some of the well, older ones were Griff, right? Well, I mean, the I earlier ones. Some of the yeah, earlier yeah. ones are definitely mm-hmm. Griffin. That's why I meant this. And then I said Griff. Yeah, so don't Griffin. shorten it. Boink. Don't do that. You're not I didn't, no, I didn't mean to. I was no, just Griff talking about Griff. Griff is also a thing, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jeff yeah, Griff is the uh, the villain in Back to the Future Part 2. Right. Yes. I saw him at Fan Expo Dallas. Tom something. Selleck. No. <laughs> Tommy S. What's his name? He looks exactly the same. Dumb. Has not aged at all. Yeah. yeah. He, he plays, plays guitar. Bob yeah. Bedell. He's, he's, he's actually a really funny uh, song comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen I've seen some YouTube. I, want I don't know if he's got like, anything new, though. I wanted to ask for a photo with him, but I'm a wuss. And like he seemed to be with family the whole time, and I didn't want to be that person. Like, hey, can I get a photo? Sorry. Shove off, Mom. Yeah. Um. So I just went with the extra creepy one where he's across the way and I just zoomed in on my phone. Oh, <laughs> I no, 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 don't do that. Don't, don't do if that. You're a fan you out there. Put, like, half your face in it too. It, so you're like, yeah. I was there. I what you do say, in situations where you see them with family, like see someone with a family, mm-hmm. either A, just don't, uh, just be like, wow, that's cool that I saw that person. Or B, if they're ever like alone for a second, just walk up and say, hey, big fan, shake their hand or and walk away. Or just shove their family or, out of the way. To be honest, like, is it that bad to go up and be like, Hey, I'm a fan. Like, don't take a lot of time. Just like a little yeah, thing. Yeah, it's bad. I feel like it's. If extra you see me weird. in public, don't ever fucking look at me. It's extra <laughs> weird when you're there as a guest too, and I feel like it's an unspoken code amongst guests. Like, I don't know. Don't don't be all fan. Well, it's, you're anything. trying to be. Yeah. You're like, I'm I'm cool too. Yeah, like, hey, yeah, we're we're cool yeah, together, yeah. right? Dude, anytime ever a fan recognizes me with my family, they just shit on me. <laughs> true. My brother just makes fun of me. <laughs> the greatest Jack thing making ever out with Elon said. Musk. Yeah, someone photoshopped Elon Musk. Someone Elon. just in the hashtag. You'll know the picture yes. when you yes. see it. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that even counts as a Photoshop. That's amazing. It's just <laughs> fucking. Great. I, I just see Ryan as Daredevil, Helen Keller. So. Yeah, that's a good one too. Oh, there it is. Um, no, it, it, yeah. If I'm ever in public and I'm with family or with cat, charge. In, interrupt. You can interrupt me. But don't. Don't try to. Have a conversation. Like, don't be like, now I'm gonna take your time for the next five See, my minutes. My family's like, the worst. No, where just... They'll try and talk to the fan. They're like, so what no. do you do? What's going on? I'm like, no, stop. Like, no. we don't have time. I, and when we were in Tampa, uh, Jeff, Bruce, and myself did a radio interview before the show. And then it was like Jeremy. midday, so we went and got lunch. You don't have to keep up with this. Uh, I have to record something after this. We were, we were at this restaurant. Like we went, like we were walking to the to the, uh, the show, like walking to the venue to go, you know, check out stuff. But we're like, okay, you don't we're have to match this either. Don't. Nearby, and uh, we sat okay. down. As we sat down, it was like you know midday, and then three other tables slowly filled up with fans. So it was very clear, like people wearing like people like grape shirts and stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. It's like, all right, well, you know, we were just talking and stuff. And then the waiter came there up. It is. Like, oh yeah, it's already. Uh, oh, there we go. There's Elon. God. I mean, Elon. Uh, that's, that's, that's my fantasy. Right? He's got so great happy. hair. He's got two sets of hair that look yeah. great. It's lovely, but uh, but so like the waiter came by like, oh, your your bill's that's been taken care on top of, party been back. taken care of, and it's like, oh, that's awesome. Rooster Teeth was totally gonna pay for this bill, so it was like we didn't know who did it, and no one owned up to it, so we had to go to like every single table, and be like, hey, hey so sorry. say thank you so much, guys, you know, appreciate it, and it's like we didn't know who it was, but really so if you bought us lunch in uh, in Tampa, thank you very much for that. We're not sure which group it was though. Also, in the similar story to that, I'm gonna say like that's really nice. If you're the uh, cops at the 290 Cafe who we bought lunch uh, for one time, you're welcome. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, no, thank you. No, no I, the joke was I flipped thing. it around. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't tell them, but now I'm see. saying give me credit. Yeah, just we just saw some cops it. eating, and we were like, we're gonna pay for their breakfast. That is that oh, that's nice. If you that's buy nice. cops lunch, and then you're like. You're welcome. Like you're an asshole. Yeah, yeah no, we, no, we, yeah, yeah. we didn't say anything, but that's why I'm saying it now. Hey, if you're watching, you're welcome. Goodness. <laughs> so. <laughs> hey, you know what? Shoot the bad guys. <laughs> that, or if like you're on, a, if you're like first class, and then like someone like in the military outfit walks on, like, oh, you can take my seat. Have you Holy ever done sh- that? Did you see I, the, I haven't. The, I have never been in first class and had someone from the military get on the no, plane. No. I've been in first class, I think, three times ever. I don't know if I'm ever going to fight someone in the military no? for first class. On like class. a train, I'll do it all the time. Like on the subway or something. Yeah. All the time. I'm oh, yeah, standing yeah. down. So like, I don't know. I would rather stand. 
Like, I don't care I'm, who I'm you are. Uh, no, I mean, I'm much rather sick. I always stand. Like, uh, I'll pass out. Is this going to live it's here the rest of the time? Fine, leave it there. Hold on. I'll, show I'll give you something you throw up there. Uh, you see the video on Reddit the other day of the guy that, uh, it was just a routine, looked like traffic stop, and the you know sheriff like knocks on the door. He's, he goes around to the other side, and the guy, he comes around the corner, the guy's just running at him with a rifle. No. Jesus Christ. No. Yeah, yeah. Got, what? You know, this was like yesterday. Yeah. This was on Reddit. And yeah, so the the cop does an amazing quick draw. Like the guy was apparently trying to shoot him. He was like gonna bash him in the head. With a rifle. Right, that's how you use oh. it, though. He was just bashing. If you look in the in the comments, they're even like the clip like falls out of it at one point. So I don't know. The guy probably <laughs> right. didn't know what the hell he was doing. But yeah, it's an amazing like jump scare moment because he's like, oh hey, uh, okay, I'll go around. And so he comes around the car. And then just the guy is coming at him. And it's Jesus. all from his body cam. Uh-huh. Uh, but he, like, quick draws and pops the guy in the arm. And the guy just reels back and goes running off. Fuck. And goes yeah. running off like a scary <laughs> deer. And Bigfoot. Yeah. Yeah. He I had to watch it woods. a couple of times. No, I mean, yeah, he gets about 20 feet and then just is like, Ah, oh, you got me. Ah, oh, yeah. it hurts. Fuck. Down on the side of the road. He wow. won't fucking get on the ground even then. Like, the, it's it's actually kind of amazing. People love to resist. People love that. Don't they do love, that. Don't That's the it. stupidest thing you I can do. I don't get it. Like, no. Yeah, what's the video with the guy No, it's, it's the guy getting tased. Yeah. 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 That's the best one. <laughs> you fucking hammer. But of course, that guy's man. just like hammering out of his mind. He's like I drunk and yeah. fucking off his mind. Yeah. See? It's when people are like, I have an unpaid parking ticket, and then they get pulled over and they're like, I'm out of here, I'll get away, and they run. Sure. It's like, fuck you. Carl Drogo. Drogo. Yeah, he See, looks great. Right when you bike. mentioned the cop video, yeah. we thought it was one that we saw where... It's a lot nicer. Yes, a cop pulls a guy over and he's like, hey, uh, I see that there's a child in your car that's not properly, like, Securing. Oh, I saw that yeah, one. Yeah, they were like, oh, sweet. we have no kid, but then it was revealed that his wife in the passenger seat was pregnant. What the wife, a like, The wife, like, got the cops to, like, set up this oh, baby yeah, yeah, reveal. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Oh, this, oh, is, this, the is, this is what I was talking about. Yeah. So for you this audio podcast, I don't know. It's a cop. Okay, okay now there's a warning. They, he does pop the guy in the arm, so there is some blood. Great. Uh, you don't see it really in the video okay, unless you're looking. Around. Is that coming around? Yeah, he's like, oh yeah, yeah okay, I'll just come around, no big deal. And then the guy's like, ah, ah, ah. Jesus Christ! Oh, he, he fell down. Him. Oh wow! He he's got him so quick. You don't see it. He, it, uh, with the audio, you can kind of hear it. Like, there's a gunshot right when the guy's like this. Nice. Wow. So, so he quick draws. And he just... quick draws and catches him in the arm in that and, initial. And then he gets hit and falls. And then fire. Yeah. Well, he just I goes over backwards as he's like, going. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the guy's coming at him, and I don't even know if he connected with it. But Christ. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, what a boss. And then fires one more time, but he, I don't think the second one. Hit. Hey, you want to get shot by a cop? That's how you get shot by a cop. That is how yes. you deserve I mean, to get shot. I mean, there's a lot easier way, or like, there's a lot of ways to get shot by a cop. Running at them with a gun is definitely one of them. Yeah. It's up yeah. there. Yeah. There's also Holy a lot of ways to not get shot by a cop. Yeah. True. Uh, but yeah, the video we saw where normal? the cop does <laughs> Yours is a lot happier. Is yeah, it's just this couple uh, driving, and the, the the guy is driving the car, and they get pulled over, and he says something like, you know, oh, you have a child uh, not secured in the vehicle, and he's like, I don't, I don't have a child. What are you talking about? He's like, you sure about that? Yeah. You sure about that? And then I think the, the, the woman's the holding woman a pregnancy test. The wife's yeah, yeah, holding the pregnancy test, and he finally turns around and he sees it. And he's like, oh my god! He starts freaking out, and the cops like, hey, congratulations. That's. And then he, he, that's like then awesome he punches enough. the cop and speeds off. Yeah, yeah. That's the weird part. And the, the cop killed him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I mean, I pulled my like, gun out. I have to shoot. That's that was how it like works. that was funny and or like you know it was nice enough. But then the like second cop, I assume like his partner, knocks on the passenger window, rolls it down, and hands him like a gift basket like, through the <laughs> fucking window. Yeah, and I was like, I saw oh, that. Amazing. Oh, that's like, nice. Who set that up? That what a win. No, I also no there's another one where um cop pulls up behind people, and this whole video is from the dash cam, and the cops like. Goes up and he's like, you know, do you know why I pulled you over? You're going a little fast. And then he goes back to his car and then he's like, I'm just going to check your license real quick. Go back to the car. And then he goes like, I need both of you to step out of the vehicle. And like the, he has like both the guy and his passenger like get out of the vehicle. And it's like a man and a woman. He has, he's like, you know, go to the back of the car, like hands in the air, face away from each other, blah, blah. blah. And he like does all that. And then the guy turns around, like gets on one knee behind the girl. And he's like. All right, face each other, and she turns around and sees him there. Wow. It's just like the cop was in on it. And then they shoot him. Yeah. 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 And then he just runs them all. They tase them together, yeah. Uh, God. It's like shit like that's awesome. That's I hate to bring up another negative one, but there was another great one that was on Reddit the other day, which was, did you see the one where the, it, the title of it was like, Man Thinks He's Living in GTA or something? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That, I saw that. That so. video, that guy. Fuck, that guy. That guy, do you know the, the, he the was, theater mode clip where the guy runs out of the trailer? Yeah, right. Imagine running like that always. <laughs> <laughs> and what the guy did, if you read the news report, so he stole a car at a gas station with a four-year-old in the back of it. 
Oh, shit. Yeah, and he's on the run, like high speeds. And then I guess he decides that the best way to escape the cops is to start jacking other cars. Mm -hmm. sure. So Always he'll works. hit a car, run around, throw that person out, take that car speed off. And he does that like two or three times. And mm -hmm. The entire time he's running, his arms are just like He's a just flailing. doing that. <laughs> and it's, yeah. it's snowy, too. So it's probably somewhere in the, I mean, it's somewhere it north. Maybe, yeah. I, yeah. He wasn't too snowy on the road. That guy just got sentenced to, I think, like 160 years in jail I for that. Yeah. The oh, best part of that, too, was when he we'll get out. He also car. hit a cop. Yeah. There's the guy. This is the right, first he car he jacks. Yeah, yeah so he uh, jumps car. out that yeah, side. Yeah. All right, so yeah, she's running he away. He just hit her with that car. That's the car I think the child was in. So he hit the van with the... Well, now he got away, though, because they don't know what car he's in. Now, yeah, yeah they totally lost him. Yeah. So, yeah, that, 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 like, the funniest part is... they zoom in. He thinks he's tricking them, but, like, they're just yeah. watching the whole thing. So there's a fucking helicopter. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> like, if there's a helicopter on you and you're in a high-speed chase, give up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, oh. This was yeah. a 90-minute chase, too. I hope this is dude, he's, he's in the... Freaking shoulder. Oh, yeah. oh dude, he, he hits so he's gonna many get a people. ticket yeah, for that. Dude, he slams a fucking pole or some shit, right? Mm -hmm. Like he's been someone car. out, I know for sure. Well now, what did this person do? That, well, that he, was it. He carjacked a car with a baby inside yeah, of it. No, but I mean but I mean like that was it. He wasn't like a uh, meth is probably. I mean, usually though there's uh, like uh, a record, salt. like, oh, you're gonna go to jail forever if you yeah. get caught. Like right, people that's don't generally the reason. You know, do a hundred years worth of crime to get away from. Like, oh, I think this is that when he like nails this. Yeah. No, yeah. Boom! He hits this car, and the best part he is tried. he gets out and he look, can't, look at his arms. He can't figure out what to do. What do I do? He's like, oh, what do I do? Uh, what do I do? Oh well, shit! Back we got another parking brake. No, no, he's like, no, wait, he will. No. Oh, shit. He's oh, like, oh, I'm gonna take that car. No, this car still works. All right, I'm gonna get back in the car. What the fuck? I can't believe you hit me. You suck. All right, I'm gonna go. No, he pulls off. Doesn't he get back out? And oh no, he drives off in this car. Ain't looking good. No, he quickly swaps cars again. He does swap cars. Yeah, at this again point, he has one. three stars. So is this a different car, or is he still in the same still car? Still the same, same car. Yeah, and then eventually and so he stops. Like, he's just gonna start hitting this guy for no reason. And then he opens the door like I'm gonna quick jump out while I'm yeah. going forty what? miles an hour. He was trying to trick this guy into oh. doing what the other person did. All right, I was like, no. Like, what if you're in that black car right there? Like, what if you're in the car and just got like bumped during a? I would literally do what that guy did. Just I'm gonna keep going. Speed up and get the fuck out of the way. Okay, he's got him a new one. He's like, this one, this one will stop. Yeah, it's like, oh, we better pull over. It's amazing. He he goes. So calm, right? He's like, oh, oh man, weird. That was just, uh, oh, oh I can't that. believe it. Can you see what happened to my car? <laughs> Look at that. Give me the car, bitch. Come here, you fuck. God, you just, what like, get a out, please. psycho. Oh, I love that she's like, no, give me my car back. You bastard. <laughs> she, anyway, <laughs> again, audio listeners, thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. We but, but like, like literally, yeah, good commentary. We're, yeah. we're, we're nominating. We're, we're nominating. nominating. We're nominating all the We're nominating. I need another video. Does it become a kidnapping charge if yeah. you think well, yeah, it does. No, the worst thing he yeah. did though was it it's not shown in that video, but he actually there was a cop trying to put stop sticks out and he mm -hmm. hit him going ninety miles Jesus. now. Jesus. Hit yeah. the cop or hit the cop. The cop survived, Holy but it shattered shit. his leg in twenty places. Shit. Oh. oh Jesus Christ. I didn't so know that then many it places becomes, on a leg. Then it becomes a well, an attempted that's murder. Attempted murder then on it's a attempted manslaughter. Officer. Uh yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. so that's why he got hundred and sixty. You're lucky to get manslaughter at that point. Hitting a cop ninety miles an hour, that's fucking murder. Yeah, and then afterwards the interviews he was just Completely didn't give a shit. Like people were trying to say, "Oh no, he's, he's, he's having an issue." Like his family was all talking about how good a guy he was, and As in the did. interviews, he's just like, "Yeah, did you see when I got that guy?" God damn! How old was this guy? He's not that old. Well, what a well, fucking nut 20s, job. Maybe. Jesus Christ! He's, he'll be eligible for parole when he turns seventy-five. Nice. Bad, you know. Uh, so he's gonna be, he's gonna that's gonna be a way funnier video when he's like <laughs> into the other cars. <laughs> so he's gonna be like Howard Walker. When he's not red. Who, who's it? Uh, Bo uh, Brooker? Booker? Booker? Uh, no, Brooks? Brooks. Brooks. Oh, okay. If only. Good timing. Uh, yeah. No, he was the one who got out. He was in jail like his entire life in Shawshank, and then he had the pigeon and stuff, and he freed mm -hmm. it, and then he gets out the librarian. Yeah. Oh. So, I barely no, remember that's a great that movie. video. Yeah, yeah I love So you're saying guy. this guy's gonna be a librarian? He crawled yeah, through a hole in the wall and he came out from the poo and went like no. this. <laughs> that's all I That's remember. how you get clean out <laughs> from the poo. <laughs> through shit, smell and stink. He came out clean on the other side. <laughs> um, damn. Damn. <laughs> that's that's, that's what, Reddit videos. Whatever. I mean, have you ever done the thing like, have you ever had a job or, or work somewhere where it's like, what can I do to like rob this place blind and get away with it? Like, I'm 100%, uh -huh. not, not here, because we don't really have a safe or anything, but yeah. I worked in an arcade well, like, one time. That, I, where I'm I understand like, what you're saying. I worked in an arcade where we had a safe, and like on Mondays, we'd have like all weekends worth of money, and it's like, I could take every dollar out of that safe and know exactly how to get away from, from this place without being caught. It's like, what? Like what? What is that turn? What is inside of someone that makes know. them go like, yep, yeah. I'm gonna do it today. Hmm. Like, but like that's the thing is like you have that thought while you're working somewhere, and it's like, yeah, I've had that that like same thing. Like, yeah. wow, if you did this and this and this, you would absolutely get everything and like be gone and stuff like that. But then 
you work there. Like yeah, so, yeah. Now, by doing that, you are yourself like a main suspect for yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, unless you do it right. Yeah. I, <laughs> also, and then you see everyone else who does do it, and then they go to jail forever. And right. you're like, yeah. let's not do it. <laughs> well, no, obviously, it's like it goes through your mind, but you're like. Yeah, I mean, I won't do that. Yeah, but when you're when you're like yeah, a, when, you're, mean, when you're when you're 17 year old kid and it's like, oh, there's 15 thousand dollars in cash in the safe right now. It's like, man, I could buy so many so many uh, so many Doritos and yes. Mountain yeah. Dew. Yeah. I feel you because I live in the hypothetical all the time. I'm always thinking about shit like mm-hmm. that. But usually, Lindsay's my, robbed me several times. <laughs> just trying it for fun. Why do you think it's well? It's always empty. You just wake yeah. up as well, a knife over my your throat card right now. Actually, yeah, called but a dry rob. The but. two reasons I usually come up with for not doing it is one, I'll fuck it up because I'm me at some point. For sure. Um, or two, I'm just too lazy. Like I don't want to. Too lazy to rob you. Like nah. No, I'm the kind of guy that if I did something like that, even if I got away with it. I'd be sitting there and be like, they're coming. That was wrong. They're coming. Yeah, or that. I'd be like, I feel bad. I, uh, I can honestly say, say you'd, you'd be the lemon head. I've, I've never had that thought yeah. because the only time I've do it. ever worked somewhere that had a safe where I might be like, I'm going to knock it off was the dollar store. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So like, I'm going to get $45. I've yes. Never, I, I mean, the grocery store when I was like 15 and I wouldn't even get, I wasn't even there long enough to have the, the the plan of how to rob them. <laughs> so no, I mean my last job was the same thing. I mean, like a rob the electrician. Yeah, yeah. yeah truck I'm, uh, I mean, I mean it was it would be that it would be steel material. I don't yeah. give a shit though. Yeah, then you gotta fence it. I gotta yeah. sell copper. And listen, they they got homeless people for that. That's yeah. why you ripping I'm copper out of I, I houses. Had, I never thought about it. While I was working at Pratt Whitney at one point. It's like I was in the warehouse full of uh, you know very very expensive parts for. Uh, jet engines, and it's like, what the fuck would I do with that? Yeah. Right. Who do I go black market sell I mean, that, that, piece of a jet uh, engine? I worked in a poverty barn. I gotta have a great house. <laughs> That's I, go I, nuts. I watched a video recently where a guy, uh, he did like a sleight of hand, swapped a, a two carat diamond. It was worth Ooh. like twenty eight thousand dollars. He went to like a diamond in- store. And he was looking at it earlier in the day, came back and then swapped it for the cubic zirconia. What do you do with that? You've got a, you've got a two carat diamond. Like, where is the black market? Like, how so you know how do you get that? into that world? Like, where is the like? Oh, I I, know I would hope guy. you know it before you steal it. Yeah, yeah. I hope yeah. you know where it's going. But uh, <laughs> it's that's, like you don't start asking step around one, afterwards. Fits. Yeah, right. I mean that's the thing. You always see like movies like uh, was it War Dogs, where it's like oh you can meet someone who knows how to do something like that. But it's like how do you like? I'm I'm really curious about that. I would never you really. Do Jack's it. like I really want to get into if, theft. Yeah. I want to sell knows, things on the black market. I want to steal a rocket and go to Mars. If you know what I'm trying to say, Musk's identity. If you know a man, you know, send us a message. You gotta go talk to you know a guy? You know a guy that yeah. buys black market diamonds. Talk to the in Dallas and Fort Worth. They'll find you someone. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure someone has connections. Like, I haven't thought about it for You always call Kevin? It's true. You can call Kevin. I, he was kind of, he wasn't really like a high-end kind of guy. No. He was more, <laughs> he was of, uh, more low. He was more like, you know, do you want we do you want crack? Do you want strippers? Here's the thing. Oh, yeah, Kevin really like had the, the diamond trade. Kevin will give you everything in his pockets for that diamond. He would. He won't know he what would. to do what with it. What a throwback. Kevin would become a slave for it, I would think. He'd be like, I'll offer my services for a week. I don't, what, the, what work can you get out of Kevin, though? I don't know. A nice ottoman? Get on your hands and knees and let me put my oh, legs up. Kind of you think he's going to be human I don't feel like furniture? Worth I think that's diamonds. odd. Yeah. I think I could buy more. Yeah, I really Purchasing don't know what he can do. I mean, that. That. All I know what Kevin right, can get so me <laughs> is blacks, black Hispanics, whites, Asians, all 19. <laughs> um, that's what I remember. <laughs> that he could get ready me. to go. I'm ready to go. What the hell are you Just looking Just right at? across the street. It's sexual pleasure. Plane crash. Check out the RTAA if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. See, I haven't thought about robbing any place recently. or like how It comes up every now and then. But like I thought about what what would it take or or if I could uh, go ahead and just fuck something up. Ah, good man. Nice. Like I went to a, a musical recently and I was like, what if I just in the middle of this decided to go on stage? Like I too just, will say like, you'll get your ass tackled is what'll yeah, happen. Yeah, it's not worth it. That's the mm-hmm. only thing stopping me. I'm like you'll I get fuck two notes into it right and somebody's gonna get hit you like a freight train. Yeah, yep. see, exactly. but unfortunately, there's too many people in this world though that are like. That's cool though. <laughs> like, like, I'll that be, happened I'll on Let's Play Live. I mean, it happens at every. Yeah, well, it kind of well, did at the end. When? It was like the end of one of our Let's Play Lives. Like some fan just kind of got up yeah, on yeah. the stage. It was like Tampa or yeah, Atlanta. Okay. I think it was Tampa actually. Really? And, I yeah. missed that. Yeah, it was like, well, like at the we were, end. We and were literally, like, and I was like, what the hell? Because he had like some sign that said mm-hmm. Little J on it or something, and he was like up on the stage. 
I was like, well, and so I like, I like grabbed it and I was like, eh, and I went, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> and I put it back and killed him. Yeah. No, th- th- those things. I was like, I was, I was looking at like, security's let that guy get up. Yeah. There. <laughs> it's like, I was like, to be fair, security was like, I don't know what the yeah, fuck. Yeah, right. At that yeah. point, they're like, what, this isn't normal. After yeah. after the third time we did genital jousting, they were just like, I don't know. <laughs> it was also, like, they don't know who the hell we are. That's so true. I think if it was some like, other random person jumped on the stage, they'd probably be like, yeah, he might That's be their friend. It was either Orlando or Tampa when I was trying to run up onto the, uh, Balcony, I think it was Tampa, and like I was running up the thing, so I was like high fiving people along the way, and I got to the back door where there was like a guy standing there, like to the door that led out, and so I wanted to ask him like how to get to the balcony, and I was like whoa, whoa, whoa. and he was like, like that, I was just like because he just saw me high fiving people and assumed he's gonna high five me, and I was like, sure, yeah, how do I get to the balcony? <laughs> he was like, oh yeah, through here, up the stairs. That's amazing. Some of those balconies were freaking terrifying. Some of them were yeah. far, dude. I can't there, like I did not. Venture up there. No, dude, there was one point where I was standing oh, on okay. the back of people's chairs. Like, I, I like to just climb up on the chairs and stand on the back of them so I could see, like, more people. And I was standing on the back of a chair that was the first row of the balcony. Oh, no, thank so you. So it was, like, the back of that, and then the next thing was the railing. That was A lot the of those had no railing to speak of. It yeah. was like, mm-hmm. oh, all right, well, if I just lean over, It was, over, like, a I'm thigh-high gone. bar yeah. or something. I was like, uh, oh, yeah, God. Yeah. Those venues aren't made for that kind of, kind of like, no. sort of raucous show. No. Man. Yeah. Michael was... kept acting as a physical barrier for me. He was like, here, I'll walk around the side of the stage. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. That was the thing, yeah, we're not supposed to, a lot of those, you're not supposed to walk off the stage either, and or at least, like, walk to the stairs and whatnot, so. That was fun, man. Let's Play Live was good times. I really enjoyed it. Hopefully, they'll do more. If you could fuck up one thing, like a live show, yeah. okay. what would it be? What do you mean? Like, uh, I don't know. Just thinking I'd about kick it. Kick over a presidential debate. I was just going to say, like, an inauguration where you run up on stage, you're like, woo! And then yeah, Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Howard Stern's penis. <laughs> I, just, well, I, I honestly I'd, want I'd do my best to get everyone on stage right in the nuts. <laughs> Just one, two, three. I would want to do see something. How many I get before they take me out? I want to do something that wouldn't follow me for too long. Like that's why I wouldn't want to do a presidential debate because then that's gonna be with. She's like, giving you unlimited freedom. Yeah, to interrupt people are gonna go with no consequence. Like the thing, no, it's not with no consequence, is it? If, it, if it's with no, no it consequence, it's <laughs> absolutely well, what's a nutty question. What's the question? If there was not consequence, or if there's not no consequence, see, I would do like I would do like the Lady Gaga halftime show. Like when she jumped off, the, I'd be like right next to her, like oh, we go, we just catch her and run off with her. Who the fuck was that guy? Like no, honestly. I would do that it would, that like would be me. I would some do that. band that I love, I'd oh, like yeah. run up there on and like, yeah, Take just like sing off. with them or do something with yeah. them, you know? Like I would love that kind of and shit. And then get tackled by one of their uh, Like if it's someone I don't like, I don't want to be there to begin with. Yeah. Like let alone run out there and, and make my face something synonymous with something I don't like. Yeah. You know? Well, most people, like a lot of people forget is, uh, remember the, the Janet Jackson Super Bowl halftime where- uh, Oh, where Tick one, came out. Yeah, yeah where Boo came out. Immediately, the not pre-planned. The immediately drama. after that, a guy rushed the field. A, a guy stripped naked and ran across the that. field. No one remembered. I, I, a few, very few people remember. How that. would you remember, remember that? Because over they cut it out. Exactly. Yeah. But it's like, oh, there was also a naked guy running well, on the field. He I dressed up like a rest, listen, jumped down. I could see a naked it. guy every day of my life if I want. So but not in the middle of the Super Bowl. I remember it because, or because or they cut it out so so quickly. Like yeah, they yeah. they edited it out of reality. Yeah, they, they cut to the wide shot and started talking. You know, Al yeah. Michaels, whoever it was, giving the. It was commentary. even one of those things where you see him like they go to the way 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 top shot and you just see him like down there and they're like, mm. yeah, and then <laughs> he's off screen. <laughs> but it's just funny, like like it, that was such a huge thing. A dude made it onto the field during the Super Bowl, and it's like that's everyone was hypnotized by her boobies. Shout out to you, yeah. that guy, her boob and her weird metal nipple yeah, clamp like thing. She thing, wasn't yeah. prepared, obviously. No. Even though she had like a sun on her aerial. No, uh, it, was also, it was like the, the the boob cover was like all buttons, you know. Like I don't know if you saw, but literally it was like a button removal thing. So yeah. that's the style, right? I'm but, sure I'd get tackled before I could get there, but I'd like to try and just walk in the background of an SNL skit as it's happening. Like I'm an extra. <laughs> hey, nice. <laughs> what's up? Uh, welcome back, Michael. How's the uh, restroom? Was good. What would you fuck up? In uh, if, okay, okay. Sorry, <laughs> you, I know you just jumped into the conversation. If there was one kind of live performance of anything that you could like go up on stage and fuck up in some way, what would it be with no consequences? Uh, it's a bizarre question. I understand. Yeah, no, it's out of nowhere. Uh, shit, live. Um, all of my questions are like that. I, 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 I haven't really. I haven't really. Sometimes you need to stress your brain like. Not that. really something I've uh, given thought to uh, in the past before. Mm-hmm. Just so it's not really something I've longed to do to run up and fuck something up. Right. So immediately coming to mind, you know, consequence free. I guess you're looking at like you know, like funerals. You know, you got weddings. 
Do you want to fuck that up? I'm not saying. I'm just saying like these are my options like that I'm thinking of. You yeah, know? fucking fucking a wedding would be pretty. Well, you're not like a concert person. You don't go to a lot of concerts. No, not really. No, the um, is the closest he's come. Wow. Um, probably like for me, like delightfully, because not I don't really care about any of it. I have no interest in doing it. I wouldn't want to run up and fuck something up. But if I'm gonna fuck something up. Be really something stupid, probably like a spelling bee, like a national oh, spelling be bee. Funny. <laughs> up with some like twelve-year-old, you know, like Indian kid is like in the fucking semifinals, and he's like spelling his heart out, and I just run up and I just totally fuck him up or something. <laughs> I start, baba screaming. Booey, baba I start booey. screaming shit. And I'm like, A, B, C, D, D, F, G, F, whatever. And he just gets it wrong. And he just cries. Yeah, and then he, just, just, and then he just blows up. He, yeah. <laughs> he just explodes. He's just beer. sitting there answering his wrong, just push him to the ground. Yeah. Run off. It'll probably be that. Yeah, it'll probably be that. He's like, give him a wedgie, push him over. Nerd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. And then Man. Off. Speaking of concerts, fucking Linkin Park's new album just came out. Yeah. They've yeah. become so. I d- numb. Okay, I'll, I'll be honest. I wasn't a fan of the the songs they've released so Heavy. far yeah. so on far, the new album. Okay, but I'm hopeful. Yeah, okay. okay. hopeful for what? The new yeah. album. I'm hopeful that there's some songs oh, okay. on there that the, I enjoy. The rest of the songs. Yes. yes. Is it, is so it the album's not out. They're just releasing their singles. Is that what you're saying? Yes, they've released I think two singles. I don't quite remember the second one. The first one was called Heavy. Mm-hmm. Is Jay Z in it? No. Oh. Some, is, no, is, but is, it did feature the, someone is else. The credits of a Transformers movie. You, well, it yes. could definitely be the, tre- <laughs> yes. the credits. There's account. actually okay. Here's this the is thing. a fun fact. Actually, there's there's a second canon of Transformers lore just in Linkin Park songs alone. <laughs> they have so many Transformers songs that they, they couldn't fit into all the movies. So there's a couple Linkin Park. But I mean, like Transformers, like, Transformers, Transforming for Life. Transformers One was their song, uh, "What I've Done," and I think. And hopefully I got this right. And Transformers 2 I was New, hopefully. Was new Divide. Hopefully. Piece of shit. Both, <laughs> heaven forbid you get this wrong. Both What I've Done and New Divide are awesome songs. They're fucking amazing. You know what's so, so, you know so excited to learn you were a Linkin Park fan? Fucking Katie. Katie loves Katie Linkin Park. Katie loves Linkin Park. She's really? seen them more times than I have. Yeah, yeah. I've seen them three times. She's, seen, she's seen them five times. She saw your tweet like, oh, I saw them live. She's like, oh, yeah, fuck you. I saw them five times. Yeah, I was like, holy shit. Yeah, yeah she no, becomes okay. so numb together. I've seen some fucking good shows, though. One of the shows I went to, uh, they have a thing they do. I think two, two of the times I've seen them were at this. It's called Project Revolution, which is like a, a music, it's like a festival. Okay. You know, so they have two stages. They have the uh, Lincoln at least, stage at and least the stage. one I went to was um, in a town called Mansfield in Massachusetts. It's got this big center there. And so they have one stage outside. It's and random. that stage outside has some good fucking bands on it. They had, uh, Atreyu is a great band. Mindless Self Indulgence. No, oh, I love MSI. Right, yeah. Yes. Like ten, right. 10 years, like uh, all, Seosin, all these really good bands out there. Seosin? Shit, wow. Oh, okay, Seosin, sorry, yeah. And then Anyways. so, and then, and then the main stage had like, you know. The more like Chris Cornell, who just passed away, so he was on yeah. he was on that stage one time. So Chris Cornell, Taking Back Sunday, um, like you know, just a bunch of big name bands were on this stage, and so I saw Lincoln Park there. And another time I saw them, they were opened up for by Coheed and Cambria, okay. who was an amazing mm-hmm. band. Yeah. Yeah. They were really fucking good. And so Lincoln Park always has a good habit of having people open up for them. They're always I've breaking the habit. And and they're, they are breaking the habit. It's nice. And their live shows are fucking awesome. Like I've seen a lot of live shows. Linkin Park is up there for like the best live show. Probably the the best band I saw at live shows was Motley Crue. Motley Crue is fucking oh, fantastic at it. Great. They it's, did Shout the Devil, and every time they said Shout, the video showed George Bush flipping the bird. I think you, you talked about this before. Yeah, and podcast, I loved yeah. that. That was and like they did that. They had all the pyro going off like during other mm-hmm. like uh, Kickstart My Heart. They had the pyro mm-hmm. going. They had is Motley Crue is that. That's not Slash. What's Slash from? The, the Guns N' Roses. Guns, Guns N' Roses. Roses. They, but their guitarist, like, he, he also, like, kind of has that same kind of yeah. look well, to Yeah, well, I mean, him. they're an 80s metal band. So right, he has that same kind of look to him. metal. And he did a whole yes. thing where he, he just did, like, a five-minute guitar we, 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 solo in the center of the stage we, 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 at the spotlight. That's awesome. That's fucking awesome. Is it Selena Gomez who does the vocals in Heavy, too? I was trying to figure out who the No, 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 I don't think it's Selena Gomez. Let me look it up. sounds damn much You're not a good fan if you don't know. Well, that's Lincoln. I'm not a great fan of Lincoln Park. You misspelled Lincoln. No, I didn't. Jack, please. Did you see, did you see, uh, Featuring... Jack, shut up! What is Lincoln's favorite song from Lincoln Park? Oh, I don't know. You name it. She knows them all. She knows, like, the Jay-Z. Kiara. Was it the Jay-Z, what's the Jay-Z album? The one where they did? It's called uh, Collision Course. That Collision Course. She awesome. knows that back to front. Like, uh, like she played one of the songs and did, the, like, every single bit of it. Like, no, all, all I, know, I know Numb Encore really well, but they also did, um... 
Uh, 99 problems, a lot yeah. mixed with points of authority and one step closer, which is great. Dude, so encore. Uh, Were they about to break? So and then they did, um, what is it, Jigawatt? <laughs> that's what it's called. Oh, what Jigawatt versus. No, that's, that's what you need to get back to the, the future. You go 88 gigawatts. And that yeah, gets you back. 1. Yeah, 1.21. 1. 1. 1. 1. 88 miles per hour. Oh, oh it's line from you. Line from you mixed with dirt. I got my gigawatts mixed up with miles per hour. Meteor is the best album. Okay, anyways. How many gigawatts? Do you think me? Tell me. I think I uh, the they're I both really good. the hilt to be a lot. I know that's a very bold opinion. It is a bold opinion. Wow. It is, but they're both. What good. do you mean? It's pretty firm. Hey, you know what we should do? We should etch our names in the table. You know no, what we should do? We should get Lincoln Park. Yeah. Yes. Well, Lincoln, 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 yeah. Lincoln Park was just in a video with Link from it's some. Meaty. It's simple. It was Link with Lincoln Park for... in Lincoln yeah, Park. They, well, watching Lincoln Park. Well, because they just did an episode of Good Mythical Morning with Rhett and Link. Yeah, and Rhett and Link. That's what it was. And yeah. they did stuff with the Fine Brothers. But Tweet. the Fine Brothers get everything. Hey, Lincoln right? Park, you, you want to come play some video games? Lincoln Park, fucking come play a video game. Mike Shinoda and Chester, come on over. Be like, hey, Lincoln Phoenix Park, and Brad and come, come, come to Achievement Hunter, hang out with us. Maybe, like, I, I, I would say. Oh, yeah, this Park. is your plea. Like, Lincoln Park oh, sitting please. there watching this. No, no, right? but our are. Fan, we have fans that are fans right, of Lincoln like, Park that like, can tag them and be like, hey, clearly they're into this internet Get stuff. Lincoln Park to come to Rooster Teeth. Come to Achievement Hunter. You're doing this all wrong. It's like they're part of that kind of counterculture thing. Lincoln Park, you guys can play Extra Life. How about that? You want to come play Extra Life? Be like, why not? Don't ruin it. For charity. We're raising money for, for charity. We're, not even, We're raising money for charity. That's we don't really even want you here. Yeah, method. no, I mean, this backwards hat we got some time in our, in our, yeah, no, it's, um, you, we gotta, you know. No, you, literally, just I want. You wanted to, we could probably squeeze you in, but like, we don't need you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I want Lincoln Park to show up in the same capacity that like Neck Deep did. Mm. Being a video, that was cool. just like okay. yeah, it, it's awesome. We said Motley Crue was the best. You're asking. You're too. acting too yeah. desperate. I'm not. I'm just saying. Well, here's the thing. You're overplaying it. I don't give a shit. Take it easy. Lincoln Park, if you're You'll here, scare him off. Like, you guys Ryan, awesome. when you want sex, do you act like you don't want it or do you beg? You act like you, you just want whip it, it out and hope. <laughs> you wear your me undies around the house and hope that go. she lunges at you. I know I do. Yep. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The best For, live show is so Lincoln Park. We've got Lincoln Park. Anyways. Cody, 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 Fort Minor is also good. Do you want an Fort encore? Do Fort Minor is pretty dope. Something, something with the Brooklyn something. What was it? I don't know the words. What? It was you crossed them so, there. Okay, the you were Brooklyn trying to go course. for encore. Yeah, there. yeah, it was. Okay. Uh, One last time, I need y'all to roar. <laughs> One last yeah. time, I need y'all to roar. <laughs> Crawl, like, crawling in my skin. <laughs> this this wound will not heal. Is that what it is? Yes. I don't know. Look what you made These me do. Look what I made for you. Knew if I pay my dues, well, they pay you. <laughs> <laughs> now they're definitely not coming, Jeremy. <laughs> that was Jay Z that I'm yeah. insulting, man. Yeah. Well, you weren't really insulting. That's true. Listen, a white guy trying to do that rap is insulting. Fear is how I fall. Jay-Z's black? <laughs> Beyonce's from Houston, they can come down too. Sure, she, is. she is. Oh, you're allowed to bring her, Jax. If you, if you thought Beyonce really wasn't allowed, it's fine. It's, yeah, it's fine. Right As fate her. would have it, Jay-Z appears to be an all-time high. Beyonce's Perfect time to say goodbye. Beyonce's the greatest thing that Houston has ever When I come back like world. Jordan Wynn to point five, I need to play games with the... <laughs> all right, Jeremy. I only know what's like because we're saying it during the fucking hit Yeah, Jack, Jack. I don't know. If we're going, everybody's doing the fish. Yeah, If we're going for songs that you know the lyrics to, I can roll. I can roll through Sellout pretty much. I am really sad I missed you and Bruce singing that because I would have popped in for sure. I love you. Why'd you miss it? I don't know where I was. You were driving me home. Yeah. Turn the radio off. I know. Turn the radio off. As well as as well as Green Day's best album, Dookie. I know Dookie. What have we, 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 we turned into who? here? What Dookie's we, a great Ryan. fucking album. What are we doing? I we've mean, turned into seven episodes <laughs> in, Ryan. Who knows? We've turned into a pre on the spot game. No, it was that we did. We're doing, episode, what we're, doing. we're doing episode 77 on the week that Bungie announced Destiny or showed off Destiny 2. De oh, seven you know what's is, even better? You know what's even is, better? So, so Destiny 2 and yeah, Bungie's yeah. very excited. And I don't know if you're aware of this. What am I not aware of? This is this is the little known fact. Rooster Teeth. Uh huh. Uh. A uh, bit of a history with the bungee. A little bit. A little bit of. That's uh, why. That's why Bruce and Greg Miller were there. That's why Bruce and Greg Miller were there. Jeff, little upset, not there, not at the bungee uh, yeah. Destiny Two event. Even better than that, uh, I saw Colton was there too as well. <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, he lives in L.A. I'm sure he was like, I'm call I'm fucking, I'm fucking famous. I'm yeah. on a fucking NBC TV show. Yeah, in the end. And they were like, Oh my god, of course, come on in. He was there with a bunch of people from Superstore. I saw like him <laughs> tweeting on, or like uh, posting on Instagram. But not Bernie. And I immediately thought of Jeff and Bernie. Like, fuck you. 
you. Actually, I think Bernie ended up going, but Bernie. I think he wasn't there for the presentation listen, or something. But. Listen, I'm sure Bernie took like an, <laughs> Bernie's got an elevator from his office that take, goes to L.A. and he just steps out and he's like, "I'm here." Jeff is like, "It's <laughs> called the Hyperloop." <laughs> yeah, there yeah. You go. Well, him and Elon Musk are like that. So. I think he actually has the machine from the Fly, where he can step into it and teleport from the Funhouse. And he comes office. out a gross monster. Yeah, yeah. Kill that would explain me. sometimes when he Kill looks like me. a gross monster. Yeah. It's like fucked up with the, the portal. Yeah, he got there. in with something else. He keeps getting in with a sandwich. Right. It really <laughs> fucks him up. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh god. Yeah. Why was it the fly that fucked him up? Because it was a living, a living creature. Because it I guess. was in there. But I mean, like clothes were in there. Like, is it what? What is it that makes it? He went in naked, didn't he? Did he go in naked? I don't know. You're right. He did go in naked. Mm -hmm. I think the original. His clothes the original, will fuck you up. But the original movie, like back in the 50s. Lindsay will right? tell you, it was Jeff Goldblum, so yeah. she would know where he was naked. It's yeah. True. Was he naked? I don't know. Yeah. Because oh my image. god. I'm, I'm sad that I'm just finding this out now. Hang on, give me a moment to Google. Well, it. have you not seen the Did fly? Did you know he's in Thor? A lot of people <laughs> tweeting Lincoln Park right now. I do I know he's in Thor. Yes. Oh, they're tagging Lincoln Park. Yep. Great. Nice. Sure there you go. They'll never show exactly. up. Exactly. We're doing the sunny thing that you. <laughs> yep. So, so yeah. what you what just happened is you just made sure that Bernie's gonna have a command performance from Lincoln Park. That's true. Yeah, something like yeah. that. I would Bernie, be pissed. Bernie's gonna appear. I would be Lincoln pissed. Park Bernie, Bernie, and Lincoln Park confirmed our destiny too. Lincoln Park is my life. Yes, I love Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park Jeremy, is my point life. down. No, okay? I can't. I can't. They're never Trust gonna show up. They're I like, can't. they were, they were, Lincoln they were Park booking their off. flight, and then they heard Lincoln Park is my life, and yeah, they canceled. Like, oh, okay. Well, let me change that. Lincoln this Park at a point was nice. my life. At yeah. a point, I was like super Lincoln Park, and you, then, you and then I, I, did that, right I did that, too. and then I kind of came when, out. When I was there back and then I, because like what it was is I wasn't into music. Then I got really into Lincoln Park, and then I branched out to like everything. They were your you should was, see they the, the yeah. gateway. Yeah. You need to see the the movie that is your Lincoln Park, and then maybe you'll watch movies. That will never happen. It could happen. No, it's you're quite like too late you're like me. this movie is my Lincoln Park. Dude, it's too late for me. I'm already at the end of my life. The, like yesterday. What? Do you want an encore? No, Kat and I went over a whole life insurance thing yesterday. It was oh awesome. yeah, I've done that. Yeah, yeah. it's great. That, nothing well. like yeah. a conversation like that to make you feel like, well, yeah. damn it. Yeah, Katie, Katie and I went to it. We have a we have a financial advisor, and it's like, all right, how Fucking much nerd. how much is your life worth? And it's like, mm -hmm. ooh, that's a weird question to ask. And it's like nothing. literally going through like, all right, how much money would Katie you need if I were yeah, to our, drop our dead advisor tomorrow. was literally like it's terrifying. Kept going throughout the whole thing. He'd be like, yeah, so that means, like, at this point, there'll be this much money coming in because, uh, I mean, statistically, you're dying first. Like, pointing to me, <laughs> right. he's like, statistically, you're dead first. And yeah. I was like, yeah, I mean, Dude's you're, still you're right. Long. You're right. That's not even factoring in the fact that you work here. Yeah. True, yeah. Right, but that's the, the thing. They were like, way higher. they yeah, were like, no, they have no idea. Because I have to apply for, like, the, the whole, I have to apply for it first. Sure. Like, this whole life insurance thing. Yeah. And they're like, well, do you do anything, like, like you know, skydiving, not scuba on paper, dive. you right? Don't. Like exactly, like skydiving, scuba diving. I was like, I'm an, I have no. an office job. Yeah, I sit at a desk all day. I was day. like, no, I don't. No, I don't didn't tell them just that. fire three bow and arrows at something. Yeah, like. but you don't tell them that. Hey, exactly, that, good that makes shooting, your rates though. go up. Well, mm -hmm. doesn't apparently sitting at a desk is now like the most unhealthy. Oh yeah, that's, unhealthy yeah, that's gonna kill you fast. Yeah, yeah. The emu from Dan's selfie is still my background. Also, looking for naked Jeff Goldblum. I found him and his girlfriend at the time of 2007 having sex on the beach. Well, don't so show it. Like having sex. Look at that. That's, that's perfectly how, fine to show. That's not how sex is done. Yeah, there's turn a lot bent of side over there. and him spanking Look, her. You uh, you don't have sex perpendicular to the no, other person. No, the sex also, happens under that. I hate sand. It gets everywhere. Oh, oh, does it? I didn't see. Yeah, Look at that one. Hang on, hang on. That's full on. Oh, that's sex right there. That second from the that one right there is full on. Well, that one, yeah. This one, no. That one's fine. That's just spanking ass. What is that position called? Wow, Jeff's looking good. You know? Oh, yeah, I was looking at Jeff. Let me see Jeff again. Look at his pecs. He's oh, actually yeah, kind of ripped. Jeffrey. Dude, yeah, he's in a he's in the new Thor movie. Well, that doesn't mean he's gonna look good. <laughs> he's, he's not he's not like weird. a he's he warrior. Thor. He's he can look like over. shit. Do you have a card to get back in? No? Oh shoot. I just There's not any in there. Hearing that Jack loves the Dookie album, that Jeremy loves rock and metal has made my Friday. Thank you, George. And Dookie is the best Green Day album ever. Who's that? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, Oh man, You know, badass. that's a band I never got into and I feel like I should have. You were backwards. I never got often. into Green Day. Green, well, green the, the early Green Day, I mean, like, Green Day, art. Green Day is the most oh, weird ride where they've changed style. And art. Young and stylish, right? Like, their, their older stuff was a lot more punk, and now it's very kid. kind of like, almost like rock opera type. Okay, like, uh, Jack, American Idiots. It's, you, it's you've been to a lot of concerts. Ryan, do you go to concerts? Have you ever been to concerts? I could have answered that. Ryan doesn't listen to music. <laughs> and you and you. Have. I've been to a few. I think you, me, and Jeff were the music guys. Okay, within a so you've been to a lot. I'm the fucking I've been to a lot of music guy. Okay. Who have you seen the most? Real Big Fish. I've seen Real Big Fish probably seven or eight. Times. Everybody? Wow. Real Big Fish. I've
Real big fish, probably. Yeah, real big fish. I've seen probably seven or eight times. Did Crystal wow. Method come before or after Crystal Method? I would hope after. After, because yeah. that's they're, yeah. that's just incredible. Dude. If they predicted the wave, right? Like, well, I, I, I didn't know to, maybe I, they named Crystal Method. No, after I, I, Crystal I talked Method. about it on a podcast not too long yeah, ago, where like my ride through the '90s oh, of did? music was very weird because I went from like I went from like uh, Nirvana and then Soundgarden and Alice in Chains into like ska, like Mighty Mighty Boss Tones, Real Big Fish, Safe Ferris, no doubt. And then into like Nine Inch Nails. It was like a, a weird kind of line. And then like yeah. then technically like Crystal crazy. Method, Fatboy Slim, uh, Orbital, Uber Zone, and like a bunch of weird like I'd it's say just kind it was of just a weird. All rock. I just you, absorbed everything. You think we yeah. could use Thor's hammer to crush two cans? Yes, Probably. absolutely. Do we have Thor's hammer here? I mean, it's uh, is Mjolnir hanging around? It's over there. It exists Where, somewhere. Meow, meow? Ryan saw it. He saw it. Did you see it? That's, uh, that's where it was last time. Oh, well, I'm sure we can get something. I'm sure we have. Oh, we got mallets. Dude. Oh yeah, we, we got spoiler. We did get mallets. Spoiler. We, we got, got we got mallets on all this week. We are recorded out. Um, well, I like too that they didn't just send one; they sent three. It was a box of rubber mallets. Anyway, but yeah, like I we opened it with a. I would say I've seen Real Big Fish probably seven times. or Yeah, I don't think I've seen. Three Days Grace six times. Really? What's yeah. the best live show you've seen? Nine Inch Nails, uh, yep. Fragile Tour 2000. Okay. Absolutely. Ryan? My brother perfect just saw Metallica. And Brian, oh, yeah. I was in Let's Play Live. That one was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> best live show, Blue Man. Oh, yeah, I've best seen Blue Man. you seen Blue Man? Yeah, yeah. You, you yeah. saw Red Hot Chili Peppers, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, they? They were good, too. That's yeah. awesome. I saw them in Jersey. They were yeah. good. I know it sounds cheesy. We saw Aquabats right? in Austin. Yeah, it was like that super was super awesome. small. It was like a bar practically, but they were fucking awesome. They were like this far away from us. They're probably as close as Oh, here comes Meow Meow. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Thank you very much. Jesus what about you, Lindsay? Is that oh, best, best, best live out? performance? I gotta be honest, Lady Gaga was amazing. Oh, I, 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 imagine. I totally imagined that. Yeah, it was yeah. insane. Um, Man, speaking of Mjolnir, did you know, like, sometimes you gotta stop and think, what... What could what could satisfy the appetite of a god? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Thor's just sitting there, he's got his hammer, He's tired from Michael, chucking what all over could the place. Possibly do something so like that. Tired. But the thing is, he's like he doesn't have time to go anywhere because he's too busy avenging. You That's know. True. Don't worry, Thor, because not all ingredients are created equal. Fresh, high quality ingredients make a real difference. So it's important to know where your food comes from. For less than ten dollars per person per meal, Blue Apron delivers seasonal recipes along with pre-portioned ingredients to make delicious home cooked meals. And they'll even deliver it right onto Asgard, which is where you live. Mm -hmm. Choose from a variety of new recipes each week, or let Blue Apron's culinary team surprise you. Recipes are not repeated within a year, so you'll never get bored. Some upcoming meals include beef teriyaki stir-fry, baked spinach and egg flatbread, and crispy salmon. Blue Apron's freshness guarantee promises that every ingredient in your delivery arrives fresh, ready to cook, or they'll make it right. Customize your recipe each week based on your preferences. Blue Apron has several de delivery options, so you can choose what fits your needs, and there's no weekly commitment, so you only get deliveries when you want them. Check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash off topic. You'll love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home cooked meals with Blue Apron, so don't wait. That's blueapron.com slash off topic. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Mm -hmm. You're making Blue Apron tonight. Yep. You're gonna make a it's, a, it's like a cheese quiche. It's like a cheese and spinach. Kind of kind of jealous. I'm already oh, out of dude, Blue Apron. I'm for excited. Those. I already cooked all my Blue oh, Aprons. We got right. we we ate the one meal already. We mentioned on Alu. Chicken. We did the mm -hmm. seared uh, the seared mustard chicken, which oh, was I got that one. Fantastic. I haven't had it yet. It's really good. It's really good. Oh, maybe tonight. And, uh, it was very and fast. We do the when do you get your time. delivery? Tuesdays. Tuesdays. We get them Saturdays. Right, Crazy! So They'll Ryan, deliver any day you want. Hey, so, you can change it. Ryan's got meow meow. And I don't it's, feel like. Uh, I think doing one at a time is probably the way to go. No, 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 no. This that's the question. The question. Oh, do both, do both. We've done if one that before. We didn't know it. Can We've do done one, one before, though. All right, I, I agree. All right, with, that's I agree almost empty. I agree with Jack. We need two undented cans. There we go. There we go. Do we need to hold down this side of the table? No, no, I'm not going to. This has been done before. Give it a little. All right. It's you know just. Oh Jesus Christ! Do it. That one went flying. It went that way it instead of this way. It slipped a little. You didn't really get it. That one got got. That one good. got got. Um, See, how come when Ryan does it, everyone's like, oh, cool, it's going to be fine. When I do it, everyone's like, Jesus Christ! It's Ryan, man. He's built up the persona. You got it. You can't, you can't let that come from nowhere. You have to start it's fun. kind of a The guys had years of work, Jack. Why can I go crazy and go nuts off the handle and I get away with it? Because I'm the rage queen. It's guy. really fun how much denser this feels now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. I know it is, but yeah, I science. Love, I, I love. I love science. All right, now you're just going nuts. There you go. Goodness. That's how you save space in the recycling right, bin. That's this one. When you take your, your no, 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 no,
Hello, audio listeners. Can I just say, um, we cold. shot a video today that oh, I'm man. super excited for it to. We're come trying out. something new. We're trying we, something new. We, we, yeah. Are we? Yeah. New. Yeah. It is new pretty. Is it new is for pretty us. new. Right. We've done elements of it before. We've but done we've never, elements. We've never done. We went we've never all gone, for it today. Exactly. We've I'm never not gonna say what out. it is. So, it's a it's a let's play video. Ooh. And uh, listen, it's this yeah, table is fucked at this point. Yeah. Um. That's a good one. Though. It should That's be out soon. I, I'm gonna say next week. Traco was pretty on top of it. Probably. Of like, this is gonna come out real soon. So while I was not part of the video, I was in the room while you were recording. Not it, yet. Sent the message to Trevor saying. This is one of the most absurd things that's been filmed in this room. <laughs> You're not wrong. We we went for it. Um, the audience is really, really gonna like it, or they're gonna fuck it. It's one of the two. I, I this really is totally. I'll tell you this. Opposite. I hope they like it because if they if they like it, we can absolutely do more shit. Like that. They're gonna love it. And if they're you don't love. like it, don't say. You're anything. wrong. It, well, it just it's never. It's not gonna get better. <laughs> okay. So if you start the video and you're like, I hate this, it will never get. This is one of those situations where sometimes if you say I don't like this, we'll go, okay, let's dial that back a bit. Sometimes we'll go, I'm sorry, but this, this is, is the way things listen, are. Listen. This is the second thing. It might not go over well. We thought it was pretty funny. We took a chance. Uh, we went all in. It's about taking this, risks on this video. Uh, so there will be a let's play that should come out next week. I would I would guess probably next week. It could be one, maybe two. Um, let's plays. There should be two of them. I there should like be two. We'll should see. be one. We'll see. No, we'll see. I think it's two. Well, it's, it's up for debate. You gotta set up. You gotta it's set up, up for the debate. Listen, I don't want to get. I don't want to get see how the second one goes. I don't want to get too far. We don't want to talk too much. I don't want to talk too much. We need to take this debate off. But it should come out next week. And listen, I'm just gonna say we tried some things. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe you won't. Um. It's something. It's experimental. I'm pissed we're doing it on the spot. Like, because I'm, I'm, pissed, I'm pissed every time, Jeremy. Or, earlier today, every I got, time I'm pissed. I got guess who all up and ready to go, and I just want to fucking G -mod? play. G-Mod? You want to want to play G-Mod so bad, show on Terrace that was so much fun. I mean, that said, I don't know, on the spot really doesn't interfere in. that. Yeah, I mean, you don't really have to do on the spot. I mean, right? you know, also on the spot's like after work, though. Yeah, but they, they he does the whole thing like being here at four. Yeah, but just don't go. Yeah, just don't do it. Okay, John, we're not going. John's not watching. Yeah. John, we're not going to rehearsal. Rehearsal is Some, nonsense. Sometimes he watches just because he's it's like a whipped puppy. He's looking for the next hit. I want to play Guess Who. The, um, we have we just played Trouble Jesus. in Terrace Town, and after it we were like, let's play more. We gotta play more. But but we had to fill, we, we have something more, else. We have more important stuff that we yeah. have to fill, like more more pressing, uh, higher priority yeah. that we had mm -hmm. to do. Um. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't know geez. what we're on, so I don't want to say the next. I don't want to spoil something, so I'm not going to say the on next thing the I was going to say. Uh, someone, uh, Stephen Griffin says, any new any new artists you're enjoying at the moment? That's a good question. Like musical artists? Yes. Okay. I, no, I, but fucking Van Gogh. Yeah, musical artists. I mean, <laughs> those I mean, are artists. That's a valid question. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck we were, you. We were just talking about bands. <laughs> we were just talking about bands. <laughs> um, a, a new album recently came out from 6 a.m. Okay. Which time, is Jeremy. so Nikki Six is the what's the number Jeremy? Nikki Six is the bassist for Motley Crue, if I'm not mistaken. Something that sounds right. I you think that's it. But right. so Nikki Six has another band that he's in called Six AM, and they just released another album right now, and it's fucking good. I just take the album and put it on shuffle, and then that's all I listen to while I'm driving. I've been listening to a lot of uh, Twenty One Pilots and uh, and uh, Glass Animals. Oh. Actually, Glass Animals are great. All my <laughs> friends are heathens. Take it slow. Exactly. They, they have earworms that will like get into you and not stop. But uh, but tw uh, but uh, Glass Animals are awesome. They have a really good groove. It's good for running. When I go running, I Ryan, what do you listen to nowadays? Uh, an audiobook. That a boy. Lindsay. Pandora Star. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I listen to everything. All sorts Stop of Stop kicking my chair. Uh, you just knocked my soda. You listen over. to the kick uh, your own chair. The Minecraft woman? raps. What's, I do. What's that? Dan Bull. Dan Bull. Dan Bull. He made a, a creeper rap and a Enderman rap. The creeper raps will suck my head. Lindsay, so good. Lindsay, I have a question for you. What's oh, sorry, up? Michael. You're the last one to answer. Any new music you're listening to? Uh, I and listen yeah, to what's on the radio or whatever Lindsay listens Chromeo? to. Chromeo. We've been listening to Chromeo it's because it's summer. I don't even know what that is. Oh, Chromeo's top. There's a new Lord song out right now. I don't like it. Green Greenlight. And it's just totally not her style, which I'm hoping that her new album is, is more of her older stuff, but her new song's terrible. Back to work, know. Randy Marsh. What was your question? How are you not deaf, Lindsay? I don't know. You yeah. listen. So Lindsay <laughs> sits like we have the sixth desk and oh. Lindsay's <laughs> the seventh at the end, next to next to uh, Jeremy and Jeff. Mm -hmm. And whoa, that was a weird angle. And, uh, <laughs> and Ryan is here. <laughs> <laughs> and Lindsay puts her headphones on. 
and then proceeds to blast them. Okay. To the point where I'm the, Lindsay, I'm the yeah. furthest away from you I and I can hear you. what you're listening yes. to you. I will defend I'm Lindsay here. I'm trying to here. listen to it over you guys, which is hard, and obviously that's not the Unplug best way to counter it. the voice feedback. Nah. Well, you're okay, you no, listening to the thing. track on the voice. Uh, what? I'll turn the this. knob. It'll, Even it when I. My setup's not her like setup's that. fucked yeah. up. If I turn down you guys, well, it no, goes yeah. with my music too. So no, I need to change my input. There's the channel. No, I understand that. Like that's my mindset the same way. But like. When I listen to, so like, if I'm working on, when I was working on the Achievement Hunter rap battle and stuff, like, you know, I'd have the music playing in in, in here while I was doing okay, the subtitles. in here, your headphones. In the headphones, <laughs> in that's the word I couldn't come up with. <laughs> um, and I'd play it, and I have it at a volume, which to me sounds totally fine, mm -hmm. you know? And I'm just, like, listening to it, and I'm fully focused on this. And I take, and, like, every now and again, I'll look over at Michael, and he'll be going, because <laughs> his part will be going or whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, you can hear that? And I'll have them off my head, and it's like clear as day. It's like someone's it's, yeah. talking. It's like I'm playing it through the speaker. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, these aren't really canceling any of that. And yeah. I'm like, all right, I get it. Now. I guess it's also a sign that like we do listen to our music way too loud because to us it's normal, but everyone else. Oh, is like, dude, Jesus in my Christ. as soon as I get in my car and I'm like music on, it's just like uh, <laughs> all the way. I old. love we it. We should okay. do one of those things that test like your auditory range. Okay, Jeremy, do you know, sure what, do you know what the yeah. surge rap is uh, from Dan Bull? No, 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 I don't. I just I, no, do you know, Lindsay okay. introduced me to Dan Bull. I don't know anything okay, about Okay, because I guess Dan Bull, he said, uh, someone tweeted, or, or on his message said, Dan, you could collab with Little J of Achievement Hunter. After all, you rap about games, and he plays games and raps for fun. And then Dan Bull responded, if he's good, I'm down. Yes. So, no, I don't, he's Dan. Yes. He's Dan Bull. So, yes. yeah. He's so. fucking, yes. okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing about collaborating with other people. Thank you, Reggie, for pointing I'm that out. I'm so nervous about doing it, because people like Dan Bull, I know for a fact, in terms of raps and doing music, are way more talented than I am. They're so good. Yeah, so you latch on to him. That I yeah. know, but I hate you. doing you, you that. Get, yeah, you but get, you do it. Just get one you... verse. All you gotta do is let Dude, him look go. At, and look get at one Dan Grushy and Gavin. That's like, true. He's been latching on to Gavin for years. All right, I know how successful he is. All right, fine. That's convinced me. Uh, no? Dan Ball, <laughs> absolutely do a video with you, Dan I'll do it too. Damn ball, I'll do a rap with you, too. I'll do it too. Since Let's I do can, it. Let's I make can, a rap. I convinced Jeremy to do it. I'll be the third guy, sort of there. I can't say what it's for yet, but uh, Spencer and I are making another rap like, right now. Yeah, like, yeah, Rooster yeah, Teeth related that. rap right now, and I can't fucking wait. It's yeah. gonna be so good. Yeah. Let's do a rap I, I was in, I was in the shower, and I was like, doing something in my head, I was like, that's fucking awesome. And then, like, I got out of the shower, and I was like, Cat, I need you to come with me. And I ran upstairs to my guitar and, like, did a riff, and I was like, that is what needs to be the backing for it. I didn't know you played guitar. That's cool. Yeah, it's like if I if I get a, if I get a riff behind like every song that we do, um, Spencer and I, you know, we've done like Spencer and I didn't do like the camp camp rap rap. That's not me and Spencer. Me and Spencer did like TLP. <laughs> we did like TLP, <laughs> Game Fail, Terrorize, uh, the Achievement of Rap Battle. That's that's us. And uh, somebody farted behind us. No, so they moved the chair. Usually, what happens is. Uh, or for some of the songs, I'll come up with a riff in my head that, and I'm like, I really like this. Send that to him, and he'll make a whole song like based off of that, but just changing it up in different ways. And I'm just like, that's fucking awesome. So I had that idea the other day for a song that we're working on. So a new receipt song might be out at some point. Seven Days to Die song. Mm -hmm. No, Seven but I could do that. Seven Days to Die. We're gonna try. Will we survive with this guy? We're going out in the mm. desert. Poke your eyes. We're fucked. You're gonna miss you the light. You got nothing to rhyme with desert. <laughs> And then we have dessert, and it's great. And then Ryan comes up with the moped. The All right. <laughs> and then Ryan's got a bike. Yep. The desert thing made me think in the video with That's Eminem. That's twenty five. We're not going. In the interview, good. talking about yeah. stuff that doesn't rhyme with orange, he's like, "Bullshit. There's plenty of stuff that rhymes with orange." And then when you're Eminem, <laughs> it's lots of stuff rhymes. Do you guys with hear this one? <laughs> Mike, <Mike's laughs> ah! Now, what, is it? what are you doing? All with young people. Oh, right? it's the it's the the tone. Uh, uh, tone. Right? Gavin, All right. Well, what is that? had a thing that he was going nuts with the other day. I mean, this is a pretty. Uh, what? 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 what I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Hertz is that? Does it say? Well, what? it's got no. It's got a couple ranges here. I don't know what. Oh. Ryan's trying to kill the audience. Okay, right. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear it. All right, I'm. What, I'm not joking. I did this with Cat like a couple days ago. Yeah. Had a thing on my phone. I might even still have the app. I don't even know. Well, the part of it is you have to also be sure that your phone can um, actually produce yes. the frequency. Oh, it's called speed test. No. All right. So I had. <laughs> I had an. Uh, maybe it was just one. online, but I had a thing where you could adjust. How many is it? How many megahertz it is, or is this it just is hertz? hertz? This one's just well, hertz or fucking kilohertz, Gavin had one. Probably in the like, office. He was like, Wee! kilohertz is probably yeah, out of here. So I'm gonna adjust the tone. Cat can Oops, hear stuff like females usually can. Yeah, like like I is it in the thousands? Is it like 
Nine thousand. Uh, I think your your typical million, human. Well, most speakers really aim for a frequency response of like twenty hertz to twenty kilohertz. Okay. Or is it twenty? Yeah. I just hope you get it right, man. All I know is maybe really? it was like That's nineteen. Low, low to high. Maybe it was like nineteen kilohertz or something is where cat couldn't That's hear it anymore. Ultra low end. That's ultra low end. So that'd be like. All I know is that there was a point where cat couldn't hear it anymore. Like, if, if you said this is where it was clear as day, and this is where it was, like, I couldn't hear it anymore, like, Kat could still hear, like, in here. Like, it was, I had no, I was like, I don't hear anything. She's like, yeah, I hear that, like, it's just an annoying sound. I was like, All right, I heard oh, that I heard that. Oh, yeah, I well, heard that, this, that was a different, <laughs> death. hang on. Start right. drooling. Don't drool. Okay, I heard well, that one. You sick fuck. All right, so I, don't, I think maybe my volume was up. All right. Well, what are you at right now? I don't know. It just this is not a great app. All right, that's not a great app. Hold Please. on, hold on. Hold on. I, I'll, I'll find something a little bit. I'll find something a little bit. Hey, we just played some. Uh, we played some Rainbow Six Siege over on the uh, Ubisoft channel. We did. You that's new. Mention that we got a yeah. we got a little bit of a little so, bit of thing going on with Ubisoft. Yeah, we're doing a new thing called Let's Play Presents over on the Ubisoft US channel. So I think it's just uh, YouTube.com/slash Ubisoft. I believe so. And uh, yeah, we, so we're putting videos over there uh, once a week, like every Thursday. And um, I, I wrote a journal about it, and we've, we put out a video about it. But basically, uh, we're working with Ubi we partnered with Ubisoft, and uh, they're giving us access to games like super early, and uh, we're playing stuff, and we're making videos. So it's not reducing the amount of videos on our channel; it's just making bonus videos for their channel. And so you should check it out. Uh, you guys recorded something that I'm really, yes. really obsessed. Yes. Oh, we've got, awesome. we've got, we've got uh, awesome. Rainbow Six Siege just came out. This is like the yeah. first video uh, Rainbow Six Siege uh, with them this on, week. on their channel. Which I love. But we've got a video coming out. It's probably the next one, I would guess, or the one after I that. Think, I think it might That'll be actually further um, away. Um, I, mean, I think it's a I don't, exactly I don't, I don't know what to say, but it's fucking incredible. We got to play a game that's not out yet. They, yeah. they came here, like Ubisoft people came they here. brought it. Brought the game, installed it on all of our computers. We played the game, and then they had to go in and delete it all. Stop, and, Ryan. And wipe it all off our computers because it's nowhere one. near coming out yeah. yet. Um, that was awesome. Yeah, that's and, cool. And we're gonna do more stuff like that. Like, where it's like, here's a game out. that's not out for yeah. months. Yeah. And so uh, if you're interested in that, check off, check out the uh, Ubisoft channel. Yeah, on so YouTube, go check that out. It's and cool. you'll see our pretty mugs there. Yeah. And we're great at games. Absolutely. If you want to see skill like at an unprecedented level. Go somewhere else. But if you want to yeah. see us play video games, check out the Ubisoft channel every Thursday. There was a point where uh, oh, well, here's a clip right now from yeah, Rainbow Six. There's, there's a point where I play. I play Ryan, as uh, stop, Montagna please. or Monty, as they say. And uh, oh, ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, that was me. Ah, that God. was me. It's still going. It's still oh, that's going. Ryan. Then. No, it's not me. It's it's still, it's still one going. Of you. It's not me. Oh, it's it's me. one of you. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, there's two of you, and you're both going. It's not me. Okay, so here's the thing. You could hear that. Yes. All right. Let's get let's get through the Rainbow Six. Okay. Anyway, right. yeah. There's a point in the in the thing here. I think thing is coming up right here if you're watching the video. Uh, where I funniest moment in the whole yeah, thing. Yeah. I'm standing in the. Two, uh, is it Ryan and, Ryan and Trevor. Trevor? Oh God. Oh! <laughs> God, dude. Wow. And I am just like, what just happened? And so anyway, we had a lot. of My fun favorite part of that is Trevor when he blows up goes, ow! <laughs> <laughs> That's the noise he makes. Damn, so you can see him do it. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm sitting there like with the shield like, oh my god! So, anyway. the funny thing is, the people on the Ubisoft channel, they're so not used. Yeah. Like, when they, to they go skill. to Ubisoft, they're like, we expect to see people who play these games, and they're fu they're pros yeah, at yeah, they're the That's best. us, we're like, pros, we get paid, we're yeah. pros. We are professionals. We play video games, we they get see paid, the best of the we're best. professionals. It's so funny because we beat that terrorist, like, the te we did the terrorist hunt thing, and we just go through it, and we do it, and everything, we're like, <laughs> we're like, we're so good at this! We did it one try, we're the best! And everything, and people are like, you suck! Like, you're horrible! <laughs> so bad! And <laughs> just like, you don't understand, this is what we do. Yeah. It's great. So anyway, so, so more content like that every uh, every Thursday on the Ubisoft channel. So check it out. Go check it out. It's just extra stuff. Subs Let's subscribe to those guys, they got some cool stuff Let's coming out. Let's play present. Yeah. Alright, so that was for- I'm gonna play something. That hurt I think, yeah, that I think this is beyond the point that I can't hear anymore. Okay. This is 17,000 hertz. Point that you okay. Can hear. Okay? Ready? I'm gonna play. Can anyone hear a noise? I got nothing. Nothing. No nope. cat can hear this. Jesus. Can and I'm like, I, I I can't hear a thing. So I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. This is it's a fifth uh, fifteen three. Let's do fifteen three. I got I that. Can hear that. I can hear that. I can't hear that. Yeah, I got that. I can hear that. Can't yeah, hear that. I don't think I hear it. No. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like painful. It's yeah. like mm -hmm. really so yeah, somewhere between that, seventeen yeah. and fifteen three I can hear. The yeah. the shitty part is it can still damage your hearing even if you can't hear it. Great. Yay. That's not. Thank you. Here you you, this is especially for you, audio The decibels are not okay. I'm gonna try one more. Okay. Is Mike, so can you hear is, this? This Mike, is are you 16, picking this up? 
This is 16.4. dead, actually. 16.4. 16. so this is like right in the Very middle. Very low, wait, well. 16,419 hertz. 15, 3. Okay. 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 I mean, I hear but that's all. No, that's not it. Oh, look, Sorry. it's my Hang on. Yeah, I can hear that. You can. Mm -hmm. I cannot. I cannot. I think I might hear something. I'm not. Hold, hold it near Jack. Mm -mm. I can hear it when he hold it. It's weird. Me. And I, I can't hear it. It's entirely psychosomatic, oh, oh, but so, here, I can't hear it, here. but my ear hurts. Yeah, yeah I can yeah. hear that. Can't hear it. Yeah, I can hear that. Can, a, can no. absolutely not. About 16.1 is where I lose. It's just like an ee. Like, and Kat can hear up to like 18. Jesus she can God. hear 18. up to That'd should, be 18 kilohertz. Yeah. So that Lincoln Park is blowing your eardrums out. No, literally, I spent like so long uh, when I was younger, just like I'd put the earbuds in and iPod all the way up. Oh, and I that's just how I'd sit there listen mm -hmm. to it. And I've been working it. in the scene shop too much at uh, college with. Lots of power tools and no ear protection. No, oh, nice. That, that'll and I'll do it. I'll do, do it. it. Yeah. So also just getting older. You just I don't know why, but you just lose those higher tones mm -hmm. as you get older. So interesting. Ain't that true? <laughs> Ain't Weird. that a fact? Weird. Hey, Michael, you want another shot? Oh, I already I'm got it loaded. Bye, Ryan. If I want the hammer while I'm gone. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you I end up always losing want the hammer your hearing while you're concerts? Um, not really. Yeah, let me grab a sip of that. I remember the first time that happened was the Backstreet Boys concert, the Millennial Tour. My sister just went to a Backstreet Boys concert a couple weeks ago, nice. I think. They're still touring? Yeah. Yep. They they sure are. I knew they reunited. They reunited, fans? They reunited for uh, I mean, I would. <laughs> what was that? This is the end or Dude, whatever? if I wasn't if I wasn't married, I'd bang so many fans. <laughs> Quote. Jesus. I can say that because I'm married and obviously it's not a possibility. <laughs> um <laughs> I'm very I'm sure Duke that loves hearing that. Oh! Gavin and I had a conversation recently where I was like, if I wasn't married, I think I would totally be like a cougar, and I would just roll up to college campuses and be like, you're not What's old it? enough to be a cougar. Yeah, yeah. You are. Like, I feel what's, like the, I feel you like you can't be a cougar no. until when you're you like 30, 40. 40. No, I was gonna say 40. 40 at least. Yeah. If not 40. 40 is cougar level. Also, you're you're like, like, you say 30. You're fucking 27. You idiot. Like 30s. 30s is like jaguar. If I heard a 27 year old. Bang you're fucking 18 kids. Year old. That's it. You're banging like, kids. Give a shit. You're not even a cougar. You're just raping little kids. No, you're not. Okay, no, 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 no. If they're, if they're 18, it. it's fine. No, but I'm talking oh. about like if you're, if, it, okay, like cougars got to be at least 15 years old. You're 27. You're banging like 13 year olds. Okay, that's the only way your ass is a cougar. Your you're ass 20, is a cougar. You're 27, no. and no, you're that banging makes a you a middle school teacher. Well, exactly. That that's what I'm All saying. Right, let's if calm down. We're getting into a bad place. You're 27, and you're banging a 20 year old. I didn't do shit. You brought it up. You're not a fucking cougar if you're banging someone seven years younger. That's got to be like. 15, 20. So if you're saying cougar at 30, you're breaking the law. That's all I'm saying. You're 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 a middle school teacher. You're scooping up kids. I didn't know there was like an age divide for how what qualifies as a cougar. A cougar gotta be old. Well, yeah, you gotta be old to be a cougar. I thought once you hit 30, you're, you're an like, idiot. Okay, you're good. you're like, an you idiot. I mean, cougar that's a classic 20-year-old comment. 30s is like adult, like life. Yeah. When you're like, 30, you are. When you hit 30, you're an adult. Before that, you're a young adult. Like, like I think from twenty, yes. from like twenty one to thirty. I would say 30. even thirties to forties is an adult. You're just a fucking idiot before that. No, that's what I'm saying. Thirty to forty, yeah. you're an adult. Like I'm I saying, would say twenty one to thirty, you're a young yeah, adult. Yeah, I agree. I'm saying that extends. I would say even past thirties. Jeff's forty one and he's a fucking idiot. Yeah, but that's Jeff. <laughs> that's Jeff. Yeah, but Jeff. There's a lot Big of people like is Jeff. Smarter than Jeff. Yeah, but she could. You never know. She could yeah. rub her band. Well, you okay. Know? You never know how she's gonna turn uh, out. Three people are like, stop <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the uh, noise. Oh uh, yeah. Well, listen, Ryan's gone. He can't oh, hurt oh, you anymore. Oh, cool graph. I want to look at this. I don't know what oh, I'm looking at. You really, got, you really got sucked in there. How much have you had to drink? How many That's shots a, ooh, have pretty, you done? Pretty long. How many shots have I done? I don't know. Six? I said we, Jeremy. I've been keeping up. Have you? I don't well. think you did a single one without me. I don't know. The fans tell us. Who, who knows? Da, 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 ba, da. Are you saying you want to have another arm wrestling contest in Last Call? Do a rematch? You will beat me. You will absolutely That's why I me. want to do it. I know. Because you, you know you'll win now. <laughs> I don't know I'll win, but I came close last time. You <laughs> did, and then I stopped working out, you beat and me. you like went all out kind of thing. Worked. So rematch, right? Good, excellent. Oh shit! And we're shit. drunk, drunk rematch. It's all right. You'll even if I win, you'll fuck my arm up for another month like yeah. last time. Uh, well, should we not? I don't want to. No, we should. Though. All right. We all. I've got too much alcohol. Arm wrestling and arm wrestling. Last call. Oh, okay. Like, the thing is, I haven't worked out in the fucking longest time. Like it's been really bad. Every now and again, I'll wake up kind of early and be like, "Okay, I'll do a workout. I'll work out for like a half an hour and stuff." And I'm we like, are wrestling, but it's very I mean, you rare. You can join in if you want. You like, we could. 
do tournament. But basically, what are you doing? basically, Michael and I arm wrestled on last call a while ago, and I, I barely won, I barely. And then Ryan, I remember Ryan yeah. lifted, and then we didn't move. And he's and like, nothing happened. You're not doing anything. And anything. Michael like, we are. says he wants to arm wrestle again, and I know for a fact that he's gonna crush me. I only say that because I'm drunk. That's I'll be amazed if he doesn't Ooh, go. Ooh, drunk boof. strength, I dude. I, I get drunk. I don't know I that drunk energy. When I don't I, know drunk drink, strength is a thing. Yeah. When, I, when I drink, I want to run. It's the yeah. weirdest think, thing. Like I when I get drunk, I'm like, I'm gonna go jog a 5K. I don't know why. You're sweating a little. Like removing. Oh, I got pit stains. I always get pit stains. Your biceps bigger than mine though, little Jay. Yeah, but I got short arms. You do. I think Michael's is more cut. Like you can see more of the definition. I just have mass. Jeremy's might. Yeah, might. Yeah. You, Don't you have Boston right that. there. Cut me, Nick. Cut me. That's you know how fucking drunk we are when the podcast has devolved into you and yeah. I. Yeah. Showing off. AKA dinner anytime I'm with my parents. Hey guys, look, Funhouse has joined the podcast. Oh. oh. No, our shirts still fit. Oh, that's true. <laughs> once I. <laughs> I just heard it. Oh. Once I downgrade to a small, then I'm then. That's true. Be I'm on sure. the lookout for me going to Funhouse. I'm sure we can find a tiny shirt for you. Maybe we'll do. I last still call. float on. I understand that mediums are probably too small for like my the actual body shape. But if I wear a large, it goes no, down you. to like here. Yeah. That's like, why I feel goes... bad. You did the Matt Brack. Like he's got to wear like XL because he's so big. He's like, tall. Matt he's Bragg's lanky. Tall. He's yeah. lanky. But then he wears it, and it's like a tent. Really? Yeah, because mm -hmm. he's huge. If he wore the, the width and height a, isn't right. If he wore a medium, it'd be a belly button. Shirt. Matt and I, as much as I hate it, Matt and I are like are made for each other. Yeah. <laughs> like it's Matt, it's yeah. like the way, Mario and the Luigi. He's way too tall and yeah, way too ends. thin, yeah. and then I'm way too short and way too wide. <laughs> like it's like, damn it! Good news. I, I hate you, Matt. <laughs> people I can't are asking be rid about, of you. People are asking about the Achievement Hunter rap and when it's going to be okay, released. Okay, I get, I get asked here's about this scoop. fucking constantly about yeah. the Achievement Hunter rap. So I answer the question. You cunt. Like, here's the thing. It uh. could... I could release it right now. I no, could you can't. Do it. No, I could. But it would be in the same style you as his bike with no handlebars. The, the Mad King versus we know handlebars. Podcast King Gus. We know handlebars. Love that or we the Joel like and the Caboose. Yeah. It, would be, it would be in the exact same style as that where it's clips in the background of just like different things. And we have that because we've shown it at Let's Play Live. We showed it at PAX East. Yep. Um, and so, yeah, we could just release it like that. Um, but there was you talks. You want to do more than that. I want to do more than that. There was talks for a while about working with someone we must outside, go deeper. outside of yeah. the company. Game. Um, we need to, to make an actual music video and like this is a person who does this all the time and and the shit looks really good I don't know if that's gonna happen now, but then it's a point of like well do we want Our live-action team to try and make something out of that or do we just say fuck it and <laughs> I just want to point out that Ben is sitting on a chair and literally had a drink delivered to him That a boy <laughs> in the camera <laughs> and it is <laughs> That He's is halfway. He's that is halfway. Hundred percent my fault because <laughs> I won't Ryan. stay in my fucking chair. Oh, that yeah. was awesome. Yep, he's flicking me off, and I deserve yep. it. I just, I just I looked over, been I'm sitting down, I can't, and someone I walked can't, up, opened the drink. I don't, <laughs> it's too. I'm just, I, just let me go out of frame. Hey, what's I'll going learn. on, Ryan? You okay? Uh, sorry, I, 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 that was the funniest thing. Is there something you know, with like where that word the backwards hat come from? Oh, that's yeah. just because I was like all sweaty as shit. Oh, someone point out? I'm interested in saying you started. But regardless, though, the answer is I don't know. I don't know when it's coming <laughs> out. All I want to do. Oh my I just want. I just want to. I want to have my portion of the of the video just be like that Missy Elliott video where she has the big like. No, like, like thing you don't understand. And the fish eye you don't and the understand how much I love like, that, Jack. Like I listen to that rap and the different things you say, and I can picture you guys. Doing that stuff and yeah, this, yeah. and like except I for Gavin. Jeremy. No, I literally already have like. Can I Kevin throw money? I, section, I already have like in my head a full like storyboard for the whole thing Here's the and storyboard what you guys will be doing. Me. I'm beating someone to death. Pretty much. Just the entire, just bludgeoning. Like it really is. Like I have all of that like in my brain. Like when I listen to it, I'm like, I know exactly what they do. No there. I know what they do there. I know what they do there. No that. handlebars. And like, but it's just, it's a huge process to get to that point. So for all I know, it could just come out as the. Uh, Why did you pour clip. another one? Because I love alcohol. Oh, Michael! Cool. See, that's what happens when you work out. You lose all your fat, and then you don't get you don't get drunk anymore. My parents are coming the tolerance to town goes tonight. Down. Are, that, to, are you get drunk quicker? Excuse me, get drunk. Your parents, oh, your yeah. parents, my mother's coming in. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Denise, 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 if Denise, Denise saw you drunk, care. does she care? No. My dad sees me drunk, and he's like, "Proud of you." Denise wouldn't give a shit. Denise will be like, "Yeah, fucking." Drunk. That's not true. My no, dad a... sent me a text message the other day, and he's like, "Listen, you need to really drink less." He's like, "I know." He's like, "I know how much you drink." No joke. 
Then he would go, you fucking drunk. He's like, he's like, you your drunk. mom is getting extremely concerned. Like, please drink less. You'll get over it. You'll get over it, Jeremy. I was like, don't worry, Dad. I'm fine. But dude, the first three years I moved to Austin, boy howdy, I was punching parking garage floors left and right. I'm glad I feel, I feel howdy. really I bad for my, I feel really bad for my dad because like I was out with. Because uh, you're just my like slamming him all the time. About I don't slam him. I just you. make him sound. You do a little bit. Ass, I, a little that bit. That is slamming. I don't slam him. I just make him sound like an asshole. Yeah, That's true. what that no, is. But, but the thing is, I think slamming him is like when I think of I'm gonna slam this guy. It's just like I'm gonna make the audience really right. hate him. See. But at the same, but what I'm doing is I'm saying he shits yeah, on me, and yeah. the audience loves that. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And like so, I was with my parents and Cat, and I had fans come up to me, which again I said. Totally fine. If I'm with my parents and stuff, just come up and be like, hey, how's it going? Can I get a Maybe picture? Maybe challenge you to a fight. No. And your father would like that more. Just and come he'd up. be like, yo, Jeremy, fight this guy. If you want a picture or something, that's totally fine. I don't give a shit. Off it's like, if phone. you, but don't have a conversation with me because I'm with other people and I don't want them excluded from whatever. So, person comes out to me. I think it was on, I think we were on South Congress Street at the time. Just walking, my dad loves it there. So, we're like there walking around and um, this dude comes up to me and... Fight you know, me, was like talking to us, and you know, he knew Cat from like the streams and stuff. So he's like, "Hi, Cat," and talking to her. And I said, "Oh, and these are my parents," because the conversation was going. Sorry. That's right. And um, I accidentally just hit that her on the side me. there. I'm sorry. Yeah. And um, <laughs> the baby. So fight. then he said this, something to my dad along the lines of like, "So how disappointed in Jeremy are you really?" Or All something right. like that. My dad's like, Harsh. My dad was like, "Your dad like taken aback." He was like, "What?" <laughs> like, he did he like, look at you and he's like, Jeremy, what have you done? <laughs> he had a single tear. He was just like, you shame this I'm family. not disappointed. He was like halfway <laughs> through. And I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, so no, he knows it because even my my mom calls him Papa Dooley all the time because that's what I refer to him to. He was you like know, halfway like, through handing you a I card said, like, well, I just have how guys, much he loved you and it just falls I texted them hand. like, are you guys okay with being on a stream at some point? Because I, I had them on one of my streams kind of recently and she was like, we all know they only want to see Papa Dooley or something like that. And then my dad is like exactly like me, because all he did on the stream was like drink, drink a couple of beers and some shots, and then he stood there and goes, "Let me tell you a little bit about Jeremy when he was a kid." And then he <laughs> sat down in front of the thing and he was like, "This kid ran away when he was like all this stuff, like told all these stories." And I was like, "You fucking." And then he was, it was naked. And I was like, "You love being in front of the camera. You." Love it. <laughs> Papa Julie sounds awesome. Dude, Papa Julie's the best dude, guy ever. That's Denise, my mother. She yeah. loves it. Like, all the fans, like, we did the Let's Play Live in Newark, you know, and even, like, fans already know who she is at this point. She's been on the podcast. She's been in the fucking Hitman Let's Watch. And uh, I, I, at intermission, I texted her, like, hey, because she wanted it. She's like, hey, if there's any chance I can see you, you know, let me know. Mm -hmm. And during intermission, I'm like, hey, now's the time. Come to the stage. You know, a lot of people are going to buy buy stuff at the store right. or go to the bathroom and stuff like that. So there was like a number of people crowding the bottom of the stage, but I'm like, yeah, come come up now. So, uh, you know, I, I go up to her uh, in intermission and, you know, like a bunch of fans were there and I took photos with them and shit, but I'm like, oh, I'm trying to, you know, see my mom and take pictures with my family and stuff. So even the fans that didn't know who she was before that, the rest of the night at Let's Put Live Newark, she was taking pictures with fans and shit. And then the show ended and she got outside and there was like a nice line try. of people waiting to see her and take pictures with her and shit. And she was like, oh, that's my boys up there. <laughs> oh, he used to do this all the time. He'd be yelling and screaming in his bedroom. Oh, I didn't, fuck this, fuck that. Oh, it's just great. Like, she doesn't give a shit. My mother doesn't give a fuck about anything. Well, that's awesome. does not care at I will all. Say. Imagine Tyler stabbed before. And how yeah, yeah. Denise shares photos of you shirtless. Yeah. His family. Yeah, uh, t by the way, it's like Tyler's dad's doing great, by the way. I don't know if I've let you know. I sent Tyler a picture the other day of my mom taking a picture with his dad. Um, she let me know that uh, Tyler's dad's coming to RTX. Tyler, ty I'm, I was talking to Tyler. We did theater mode the other day. He's like, yeah, my dad's coming to RTX. I'm like, oh, I know. Yeah, my mom <laughs> told me about it. She was telling me all about it, so I'm... I'm pretty. Yeah, there it is. That's yeah. the photo. Nice. That's, that's Denise nice and, shirt, and Denise. Tyler's dad. Oh Tyler. my God, Tyler. Tyler's dad's in great shape. Tyler, what's your dad's name? Chuck. 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 There's Tyler's Chuck. dad. Chuck, Chuck Stab. Chuck, looks Chuck great. the fucking New, uh, New Jersey police officer. Chuck Stab. Oh, well, that's why. That's a great police name. Yeah. Chuck Stab. Chuck Stab. So that's, that's why it's even worse because like my mother's texting me and she's like, "Oh, Tyler's dad says you're in great shape. He could." He wishes he was in your shape. I'm oh, like, dude. Denise, he's being nice to you. He's in great shape. He's dude, a fucking cop. No Stop joke. showing him shirtless pictures of me. Like, I um, went Jesus. to... You know, Kat and I flew home at one point, and I've done the classic thing of, like... Break your phone. 
Resume. Sorry, the dink means that I can't refuse. Um, I did the thing. I need a chaser though. There's not much left. That's all I need. Um, when you're working out, and you're really good about working out and doing everything, you always do that picture of, hey, look at it. I'm looking good, yep. right? Like yeah. everyone, you know. So I did you that. Gotta thing. do it the second you're done, too. By the way, because if you if you don't work out, uh, you might not know this. When you work out, you look a hundred times better. Right. Than you, what you give you really your muscles look. that you get like the pump. The post workout pump? is the you, best you're gonna look. Pump is a real thing. You would also know that if you've ever done any sort of production with. Uh, Alan Richardson? No. Blaine. Does he do it too? Blaine, yeah. Yeah, Blaine does Blaine push will ups hit before the, he hit the ground and do a no, quick I, I, step. No, yeah, I'll I've adopted. I've adopted no, doing that. No, it's, I've, I've learned that's what it is. If anyone you think that looks amazing in Hollywood, The Rock, anyone and everything, and they do, in a movie, they've just done 20 push ups before the Chris scene Martin you just does. Or, um, Captain America. What is it? Chris Evans. Chris Evans. Chris yeah. Martin works here. That's Coldplay. Coldplay. Yeah. Yeah. Coldplay. Yeah. 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 Cold Coldplay and works here. Right. Yeah. It's Chris Evans. I, I Chris bet Evans. That's why you're um, thinking, though. He has dumbbells just off stage before he does anything. Yeah, it's like a super douchebag move, but if you're in shape and you want to look like you're in shape, it works. No, like, there I'm, is, I'm I mean, sure before all the squats today, I will do push ups. Well, I literally, I, will be doing I took a photo, I have an Instagram uh, photo from like a week ago, and I did I did biceps that day. Jack was like, He's he walked off stage to uh, get uh, high. Uh, Dude, no. He, he, did, he like, just did Wait, were you doing that without me? It just only yeah. did a lot. There's like a. <laughs> There's a stripper with a line of coke on her right over there. So I did a, I did, I did biceps. So it's like they're, they're like twice the size they are now, because that's how your body works. Exactly. And if you don't, don't work out, you don't know that. But I tweeted a photo, and literally one person replied, and they were like, just one out of it, and everyone in the world, only one person replied, and they were like, is this photo fake? Because your arms don't look that big at Achievement Hunter. And it's just like maybe the no, I did not Photoshop my head no. in the gym bathroom. It's it's, actually, I finished my workout, ran to the bathroom, and took a photo immediately because then the next 35 minutes my arms went. Yeah, so I took I took that. That's how photo. It works. Everybody knows that bathrooms that's gyms how it have, works. have like the magic mirrors where it's just like right yeah. in one zone. Oh, yeah. and oh. So I like took that photo of myself without a shirt on, the one that they turn into the, the naked the dick photo. Pic, yeah. That exact one. Yeah. So I took that, so when you look up on Google, like, Jeremy Dooley, that's one of the first photos there, is that one. Which I'm fine with, right, whatever. Let's go ahead and take a look. Because I look good in it. And, and so, I went to, like, a Christmas Eve or something at Kat's family's, like, you know, with Kat's family. It's at her uncle's house. And I'm sitting there talking to her uncle, and I guess he had Googled me to see what I was doing. And he's like, man... I see those shirtless photos of you, and he's like, yeah. All right, I get it, I get it. We know what it looks like. Stop. Oh, there's Jeremy. Uh, there's the shirtless photos. Oh, someone, but, someone photoshopped some not, pants on. Not the dick pic, yeah. Not the yeah, dick Someone pic. photoshopped some pants so, on. But yeah. like, man, you know, Kovic's looking good. To have his uncle, <laughs> like, or his, to have her uncle be like, man, I uh, saw you without that shirt on. Looking good, Jeremy. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I don't want you seeing yeah. that. Like, it's just yeah. don't bring it up. Uh, like, yeah. I spent a lot of time up. looking at that picture. Like, yeah. I get a it. A lot of like, private time looking at that picture. I will say the first the first result that comes up when you search your name is some. some no, no, okay. There, there's a guy named Jeremy Dooley who makes um, fonts. He makes type typefaces. Yeah, he comes up before you. Uh, if you just look oh, up Jeremy Dooley, oh, he has a website. Right. You'll yeah. get there. Yeah. So you'll someday you'll be in design, right? He's an infamous font design. I've I've I've. That's fine. Images though. Click oh, on images. Oh, uh, you gotta own the images. Bam! Look at all those Jeremy. Damn, that's. <laughs> I, I just that's, lost a couple that's, kilohertz. That's, that's, Jeremy's been drinking Jesus for two hours and twenty Christ. minutes. <laughs> yeah, you have East Coast over here in Austin, like embracing the sound. I like Austin going. Oh, okay, okay, please. Oh, yeah, there you go. There, there it is. So see, there right on go. the front page. There second it is. Go, second row. Second row. You made the second row without a shirt on. Oh, there's me shaved. You Ugh. look weird you as shaved. fuck shaved. He Don't looks shave. like a super thin Bobby Moynihan, in my opinion. Bobby Moynihan! He's leaving SNL. He's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is his final yeah. season. He's been on there Sorry. for a while. <laughs> I like the guy to see the cursor <laughs> go over and click on it. So, Jeremy shaved, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> yeah, that's me shaved. It's not online. Cat specifically told me the other day, do not shave anymore. Oh, yeah, no. no. I, it looks good. Yeah, well, keep the Wolverine look. Oh, look, there's yeah. the other Jeremy Dooley. That's him. That's he's, the guy. He seems like a really lovely gentleman. He really does. He's a great guy. I would go. You and your also, get the fuck out. I feel kind of bad because I just Googled me because there was a, a guy that was the uh, was a 3D animator before I went to Full Sail. Oh, that's which, interesting. He also went to Full Sail. So there was a Ryan Haywood oh my God. that went to Full Sail before me and a James Haywood, so I couldn't use either of those websites. Mm -hmm. 
um, that were both animators. But I was, he used to be the top result, and uh, looks like I've pushed him off. I do like page. that one of your My Google bad. image searches is the the very Dawson's Creek esque photo that you did. Well, I think it was one of your model shoots oh, where God. you're sitting next to a tree and you're like thinking about life and shit. Uh, you know, yeah. that's, that's what life was like. Yeah, I'll say I I cornered the market on Michael Jones. You type up, you type, you type Michael Jones, and the very first result is always Mike Jones. Yep. But if you actually look to like Michael Jones, Who? this guy. Nice. Oh, you know, Jack. I was a little delayed. Yes. I apologize. You know. Oh, sure. Like Jeremy. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's back when I looked good. Twitter. I'll say now this. Now I look in the mirror and go, I'll Ugh. say this. It's good, especially, of all places, my whole life growing up in New Jersey. Because Mike Jones, the rapper, Ooh. became a thing <laughs> maybe in my teenage years. <laughs> it was like, probably like mid-2000s. Mid mid yeah, 16, 17. Like 17, 18, I was uh, 2005. Yeah. So I was in 2005. It was 2005 when I was like 17, 18. That was when like the Mike Jones surgeons kind of came up. 877 foe. Oh, um, his phone number. Somehow, more or less, just avoided that my whole life. Even even like when I was like 17, 18, Mike Jones was a rapper. He he showed up. He did a thing. Never. Nobody mentioned it. Nothing. Never came up in New Jersey ever. I get to Austin any fucking time mm -hmm. ever. That I like place an order online and then I go to pick it up like uh, Home Slice or Torchies or whatever. And I got to type like Michael Jones. I don't get there and I'll go, I have a pickup order from Michael Jones. Every single time. They go, Mike Jones! <laughs> Every single time. Only in Austin. Like, well, I mean, from, he's from, from Houston. New Jersey. He's, he's from Houston. But it's so. like, they fucking love it here. It's fucking insane. Every time ever I pick up food at Torchies or Home Slice, the fucking person at the cashier will go, Mike Jones! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, have you heard that before? And I'll go, yeah. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that just sucks, one. that just sucks. every time I have ever ordered food Damn. ever in Austin. I've ordered orders. They love it. I've ordered orders over the phone for you and placed it under Michael Jones, and on the phone they go, ha, Mike Jones. All right, anyways. <laughs> all right, all right, <laughs> back, back to the matter at hand. Yeah. Let's get back to this. You don't. Immediately short when someone tells you Michael, you don't shorten it to Mike. No, damn it. Okay, if you say my name is Mike, that's fine. You're free range to go, Mike fine. Jones. If it's Michael it Jones, it, it, doesn't, like, it doesn't. It doesn't bother me, but you will get this. If I introduce myself to someone, I'm like, oh hey, I'm Michael. Nice to meet you. And they go, hey, nice to meet you, Mike. I will do this. Like. All right, I just told you what my That's name the was, thing. and unless, you just ignored it. I just unless fucking the told person you. has what given you, permission, no, you do just, not call them Mike if their name is Mike. If they do that, when whatever their name is, you just start subtracting one letter every time you say it. Goodness, well, that's, that's all. Those names are already really short. You can't really like. What, what's, what's the nickname for Jeremy? No, there isn't J, one. There it. isn't one. But like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but he made that. That's his no, name. he didn't. Yeah, I know. This Michael guy made that. I made it. Michael, and you are in the room. You don't even remember it. was during it. a Let's Build. It was a anything. Let's Build in well, Stage 5, and I remember you guys were in I had the, to leave for something. You weren't there. I walked into the room. I was there. It, you know what well, it was? It was the I Halloween build. It was the Halloween yeah. world You build. were in the video, but not when I got and there. And then I had to leave. It was when the Let's Builds had moved from the side room in Achievement Hunter to the what was used to be the Machinima room. Right here. Which yes. I think it's the I right behind it is now or whatever. But back near Gus's office, um... I walked in and it was like Lindsay, Caden, Matt, and, Matt. and Caden yep. probably making a video. And I'm like, I, I walked in for some purpose. I just had a message to relay to someone or something. And I saw the station was open and you were signed in. Your Xbox Live account was still on. And I'm like, oh, so and so, whatever. Are you guys filming? Right, I'm gonna get in on this. And like, I just sat down. Jeremy's account was logged in. I specifically hit record so you could record what I was doing, whether you used it or not. And while everyone else was just building in the Let's Build, I just fucked with Jeremy's profile on uh, Xbox Live because he was logged that. in. I just yes. went over to bio and I just completely changed all of it to just like <laughs> nonsense. Like, well, so like, I, like I remember your bio was something like, I love when when big breasted women pick me up and motorboat me, or something, something like that. It was something, something it was, like I'm that. I'm paraphrasing. There was, was something, something like that, that had to do with me being at tit level. It was you, <laughs> it was, there was motorboating and then you being like a child of picking you up and going like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> with you being small. There was something like that. And yeah. I, and it was just me coming up with nonsense on the fly. This is like 2015, mm -hmm. probably 2014 almost. 14. It's definitely 14. And yeah. literally under the name, I just delete Jeremy and I go, Lil 
J. Enter. That's where it came from. That's that was the start of Little J. And it went forgot. it went uncommented on for months. Like like it I did Because I didn't notice it. I did it and then I don't even know that it was in the video or you noticed it or whatever. I just did it. I was there for five minutes and I left. And there was a thing where like two months later you were Lil J. That was it. It was like this is this is my alter ego now. And now you have another alter when ego. Did you now it's who you aren't, this. but we all know you are. When did you make 10, this so. your your thing? I, I honestly don't know how it went from that to what it is now. I don't like, know. Because it, just it happened. became it became like it it happened. I think I, a huge portion of it was you moving into the main room, but you were starting to adopt it even before that. Yeah, I was I mean, I was always cool with it. I was cool with Lil J. It's just I like I, I don't it, mind it. It wasn't even like you weren't cool with it, like I did it and it just didn't come up for like Four months, five months, like with yeah. the audience. Like the video didn't come out or it didn't come up or whatever. And then it just became like, it finally happened and it was canon. That was it. It's like Lil J is here. Yeah, no. and It, it, it was the most throwaway now it's two the point second where, idea I ever had. Like literally, probably I wandered off at, least, at least once a month, like if not more often than that, I'll be shopping at like an HEB. I'll just be getting groceries. And from across the store, I'll hear, Little J! And I'm like, yeah. fuck! There's a song to it, you got it. You know, yeah. it's like, oh! Okay, let me say, there is definitely a song to it, and there's a cadence to it. Yeah. Little J! And you gotta do it yep. loud, you really yep. gotta want it. Yep. Like Lindsay, <laughs> however, I don't know what video it was. Uh, was it Overwatch, I think? I think it was, it was Overwatch. Overwatch. Yeah. We did like an Overwatch DLC. It was the four of us. Yeah. Right? Like, the, the uh, it was like the co-op kind of uh, against like AI enemies. Yeah, yeah. The what? Horde mode one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I totally yeah, think it was the, Not Horde mode. It was no, Horde mode, I was well, in that it's one. It kind of, no, I understand what you mean. Mode. Like, it was like the Horde mode first, and then it was like the move the payload yeah. kind of thing. I forget what the, the name Horde of it was. The Horde mode was like the Halloween thing. Yes. I was in that. So we did that thing. It was that, only it moved. And okay. like during the video, we at some at point, it. I like threw that armor maintained. down for someone and Lindsay got it. And Lindsay's like, oh, Jeremy, I got your armor. And I was like, oh yeah, you're welcome. And then she goes, little J. <laughs> and it was like the <laughs> most like neutered, like horrible sounding <laughs> little J ever. Wow. And I was like, that was the most <laughs> lackluster little J I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so awesome. It's just so weird, like how to describe how we got to that point. Be, but like it happened. It's like the little J thing happened, and, and it, it just stuck. became like little J. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Love it. Like that, that's up. like your your like call to. And battle. for some reason, I don't know why the audience latched on to like a little J chant, like at live shows. Little J. J. Little J. J. That happens quicker. like all the fucking time. And I'm like, I don't know. That's a good rhythm because, to it. Yeah, 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 it has a good rhythm. I, I can yeah. see that. That's, the best chants yeah. are well, three, chants three are syllables yeah. or two. Because yeah. you get the taco bar. bar. Yeah. Taco yeah. bar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. 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 Fuck, right. you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's the two and three. You suck if it's um fucking. You suck. Oh, God. What's his name for pro wrestling? I was about to make a joke and I don't remember. Kurt Angle. Right. Thank God. Kurt Angle. James Angel. James Angel. You suck. Bennett. You suck. <laughs> People who are wrestling fans know what I'm talking about. Sure. Kurt Angle, you have to do it in a song. The champ is here. Right champ is here. All right, so are we good? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think so. We gotta. Uh, well, I we should. We should everyone. wrap this up. New we're last gonna call, wrap it up. We have. We have at least. We're gonna, we're gonna we wrap one, it up. Maybe two videos to film. Well, yeah, uh, we can whatever. do one today. We'll we wrap can it definitely up. Get one I'm gonna take today. a piss and then I'm gonna arm wrestle Jeremy. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm gonna find. And you're gonna win. I I'm hope so, Jeremy. You're gonna win. I hope so, because no, I'm gonna look guy. foolish if I don't. And then Jack's gonna just go nuts. Let's just go nuts. This okay, so Gavin's gone, right? Uh, yeah, uh, he went home. Like, mentally? He said he went home. He yeah. Was he supposed did, to do something? He did say I'm going home, but maybe he'll come back. Because I would love to do... We need to do that other video, though, with him. Yeah, you do. Oh, that's right, you can't film it. With, yeah, okay. The thing we did uh, I would like today. to do that one, and I'd love to do Guess Who in Gmod. Oh, he left. Hang on, I'm gonna text him right now. Text him to come back. Why is there white shit on the I wanna do one of those two videos. Smarties. Here's the thing. I don't know if I wanna do the other part of that video that you're referring to. I don't know if we should do that. Yes! But I've had so much alcohol that I'm afraid. Uh, it sort of ties in. It totally ties in. All right, I guess. The alcohol is supposed to give you courage. It encourages you to do things like this. I guess, yeah. Ride the high, man. Maybe I just really want to play Gmod, and that's the why thing, I'm the, the thing pieces. is, like, it's up to Gavin. If he doesn't show up, you can't film it. If he does, though, you're in it. You're in. You, you, you know what? I'll do it. what I'm told to do. Game over! I'll just do what I'm told to do. Thanks for watching episode 77. Tune in next week, where Lindsay's gonna give birth live. <laughs>
on I'm this show. It. My legs are already spread Jesus. right now. All right. Her legs are always spread, you slut. That's Ryan over there. <laughs> if you need him for anything. <laughs>